Hey, what's going on, everybody, fellow manses and womanses? If you like to get your sin on and partake in all that devil's lettuce and all that other sin like that, especially before or during these episodes, yo, just go and check out Cushed Outfitters. You can find them on Instagram or CushedOutfitters.com. And if you're looking for, like, some dope glass blunts, pipes, some grinders, not to be mistaken with the app, papers, and all other stuff like that, Please go check them out, man. They got some dope stuff on there. But first and foremost, Mother, I apologize. All right, everybody, this is John D. Contradiction, and this is episode eight of the Not Your Man's podcast. And pretty much if you're still following us or you're just hearing this because some asshole friend is putting you through some torture saying to listen to this, you can find all of our shit on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Not Your Man's, N-O-T-Y-A-M-A-N-Z. And I'm going to let everyone else introduce themselves, and then I'm going to give our special guest host, I don't know how you say it, a nice little introduction but let's get the host going. Swaco, bitch. <laughs> I'm mm. <laughs> And we got no JP today. He's at a meeting, but um, we got a nice special guest host. He's actually going to sit through it with us like like a normal human being. I mean, interviews like are a cool. Champ. Yeah, but he's going to go through some music because it's good to see artists maybe, you know, peek at other music and shit because you got to know the market you're in. But it's my dude whose album drops on the 30th which probably will be when this podcast episode drops so today i guess i can say that even though you know but yeah it's season all right it's my man season if he's part of 3h hip-hop heads introduce yourself give us a little something yo yo what's up guys it's season here gotta get that album c uh, may 30th hopefully i'll be a man <laughs> so that's the good thing because even though you know we got him on here he's gonna give us you know a nice little little good time with us and we're friends he could still get a red you know the red stamp and there's no you know just because he's here there's no promises but uh <laughs> <laughs> this is straight up you know it is what it is i actually can't wait till that happens where someone's like on here and then it's like oh we're having a good time then it's like red stamp <laughs> Here's that L that you've been waiting Negative for five, yeah. you know. Like. <laughs> but um, so we're gonna start the week off, you know, the same shit that we always do. We go through the reviews that we posted for the week. So we started the week off weak as shit. We started off with a with a <laughs> kind of my I man's. Hate I hate that. I hate when your week starts like shit. The I most really Monday do. of reviews. It's like first <laughs> review is not that good. So. <laughs> So this review is fucking hysterical. So this album is Young Rob Stone by, guess what, Rob Stone. And um, actually, Seasons, Seasons Man, fellow 3H member, Kairu Wick actually did it. Suicide Watch, get his album, listen to it, it's fire. But um, <laughs> so his review, even though it's a not, not my, kind of my man's, and it's a five, his review is <laughs> It looks sleepy. <laughs> not even that. Like, he literally ended it with... I hated nearly every minute of it, and it ruins my. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember when I saw this review in the queue, and I screenshotted it. It was like, "Yo, I hated every minute of it, and it oh, ruined my night." Man, it fucking ruined. Yeah, I was like, "It sounds like that should have got a, a red stamp, bro." And he was like, "I know, oh, man, man. But it was just good enough." <laughs> like he's so back and forth on this. It's like it's generic and mainstream as it gets. Bland bars are mostly trash. <laughs> 
And then he goes, it's presented exactly like every other cat in the game right now. Like, this it shit should have definitely been a kind of my man. Oh, yeah. yeah it should have just I been know. a knot, but he's, he's, he's too nice, not. even though he, he wrote all that awful stand. shit. <laughs> yeah, you should have Like got I said, right. man, Cairo should just tell him, put it on relax and see what about it. <laughs> and it just wasn't good. Like, even the song that he gave, like, a decent review for, I was just like, yeah, this isn't, this isn't great. He kind of sounds like a... You know, store brand ASAP Rocky, but oh yeah, see, I'm not a fan of Rob Stone to begin with, so I'm so glad that oh, Kyrie yeah. did this for us. He sounds like if like ASAP Rocky didn't actually know how to rap and then was like, oh, I'm gonna rap. Like, like if like if ASAP Rocky did too many too many Zans. <laughs> yeah, seriously, yeah. if ASAP Rocky was 13 years old, you got young Rob Stone. Oh. <laughs> So the next project, we got a good one for the day was Monday. So this one I reviewed, this was dual perspectives by Gambo. So Gambo is um, part of hood hippies. They're fire. And this project was fucking banger after banger. This dude can rap. And honestly, he breaks the chain of like the black and white face frontal picture where the project's garbage so i'm upset about that oh true i was a liar <laughs> yeah I, Lies that's, and i'm slander. all wise and slander on my part but he's you look at this cover you you he looks like he's ready to rap he's like sweating yeah. on it <laughs> yeah like he's <laughs> a little he, like, sweaty like, like he like he just ran to the photo shoot and like yo we gotta take this picture right now <laughs> he's got this like dead eye like his eyes there's nothing there like it's this was glossy no like it's scary man <laughs> But this project is fucking fire. Like off rip, you got two fire trucks for me, and then three back to back fires. Like, come on, don't start a project off like that, man. No, you need to start projects off like that. Don't, don't, don't tell them. Jesus no. Christ. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Hit you hard and then ease you out of it. And it's it's just it's like bumpy hip hop. Like you just want to like bop your head to it. He's rapping. The production was fucking perfectly chosen. Like whoever produced on this. I need to get his contact, <laughs> but he, like, Howl. it's crazy. Like, the shit is, it fucking all came together, and it's like, I guarantee you it's some no name, but then you got people like that fucking loser. What's his name? Pierre? <laughs> What's his name? Yeah. Oh, uh, Pierre bon Bonnier, whatever it is. Oh, bum sauce <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 fucking giving people the Fruity Loops fucking cuts. <laughs> Car Playboy Cardi's, man. <laughs> Facts. Uh, oh my god fucking this this like seven song fucking ep has more raps than everything playboy cardi has ever put out but um so <laughs> after that <laughs> yeah i hated that playboy card like i'm pissed at that album but that shit um, is popular too i don't understand it <sighs> it's because the kids like it it's not because we like it it's, it's just the kids like it it's just that catchy. Catchy. oh we understand that dude Trust how me, are kids that stupid because they don't care they don't care it's about so, substance and music <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's they're just not smart. It's like, oh, let's just repeat this line a thousand times. No, like, because that that's what the kids want. They want like that festival, sit there in the sit there in the club on all these drugs, and they they know the song because it's only three fucking words. Dude, it's honestly though, it's like I guess it's the cool way to be like, oh man, when I was young, I grew up watching Barney, and I want to keep that same kind of content, <laughs> the, the same rhyme schemes yeah, and flow. Yeah, that, that, that yeah, nice little sleeping on Barney, bro. <laughs> the doctor, yeah, I'm and sleeping on Barney. Is a <laughs> that, that shit Yo, was a banger. Doctor Seuss is the re only real spitter. <laughs> yep, facts. That's a fact. It's a fact. <laughs> I like how we're slandering our album <laughs> two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that album because it's doing so good. I hate it. You know, <laughs> don't don't listen to that. But um, so the Man, project that's really that. close to nature. Me. <laughs> 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 fucking birds <laughs> my man's chilling in the beauty and the beast scenery right now <laughs> people oh, that deer? Oh, what's up, my <laughs> yeah that, that that's that kid that's always yeah, feeding him and shit. <laughs> but um the next project that we did was joey cool's album which was called joey cool which i respect this album cover Oh, fire. But this, this album album's fire. Yeah, this album cover oh, yeah. alone tells you what you're going to expect. Like, look at his top hat. He looks smooth. He's sitting on a fucking piano. 88 keys, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting on all of what Pusha T raps about. Like, exactly. All these keys. This shit is oh. fire, bro. He's got the smoke Photoshop that I know how to do on my phone. But, like, yo, seriously, <laughs> this project. It just looks, it just looks like, you, like you know what you're about to do. Oh, yeah. It's real rap. 
And you know what's crazy? He's one of the lesser known dudes on um, Strange, Strange Music. You know, I did not until this album. This this is one of the ones I actually got to this week. I gave it a once through real quick, but it was. I definitely added a bunch of songs to my playlist. Yeah, I was dude. like, oh shit, I need to listen to that again later. Dude, because the ones that go hard go hard. Under and then pressure the is out smooth. of this world. Oh man. yeah. Under pressure was fire. I don't know. Had me that. doing 120 on 95. <laughs> dude, the, the tech obviously Tech Nine's doing his thing, but I really fucked with Stranger Things with uh, Ubiquitous from Ses Crew yeah. on it. Was fire. Then you got the regular Ses Crew track with both of them, and that was fire. Like this project was dope, man. I enjoyed it. And I definitely have this shit in rotation. I'll bump a few tracks off of it. Like, I'm just upset. You know like, what? he didn't have a song what? just called Joey Cool. <laughs> <laughs> or like Joe Cool. Because then it would show up on your phone like Joey Cool, Joey Cool, Joey Cool. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That'd no. be facetious. I like that. You know, represent. He's sitting on a piano. You can't tell him shit. 88 keys. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh,. <laughs> The one after that was one that <laughs> that got my <laughs> got my man M feeling a type of way. But this was this name. <laughs> this was Hot Winter by Taco. My man's Taco. The hardest person to find on all those fucking platforms we share on, bro. Like you can't <laughs> at Taco and just find him. Bro. Hey, he found us. Yo, you found Fact. him. And he found us. Oh man. my god! But one, this dude was a good sport because he got a seven point eight. M gave him a 7.8. And he just kept he kept talking like, yo, man, you should have gave me that 8. <laughs> you should have gave me that <laughs> No, just no give me the pity. eight. No pity points. Yo, but this project is versatile as fuck. Like, he's got some, like, nice bangers, and then it just gets wild sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have it in the review, like, warning sign, aggressive baby making block. Yeah, it's, like, graphic. It, ha- it goes for three songs, and then it stops. <laughs> and it... <laughs> Like you, little, like you don't expect it because what he's rapping about, he's rapping about the cut and trapping. You know, he's rapping about some real shit, and then he just starts talking about that, and you're just like, okay, yeah. And then he starts like getting very visual. Like you're sitting there listening to it, and you're like, you're imagining everything he's talking about, and I'm just like, all right, well, yeah, your are you car sure you didn't just take like acid before you listen to his album. Nah, nah, fam. <laughs> nah, you nah, just fam. his car, like whatever he was in, started steaming the windows. <laughs> It was ridiculous. I mean, one of the songs is named Fifty Shades of Sex. So. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of getting to the point there, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, he was letting you know, like, hey, this is what I'm fixing to talk about. Oh, yeah. No, but this project was a good time, man. For, for, for it being fucking 16 tracks, it came together really well. You could tell this dude put some time into it. It sounds radio ready. Like, everything sounded clean. Production was dope. It flowed together pretty well, minus the sexual break in the middle that just fucks you up. <laughs> I just don't understand. Why did you? You could have spread that apart. You could have, you know, not all at once. So you think about it, it's like 17 minutes of just that. It's a lot. It's a lot yeah. to take in. <laughs> That's the weird side of like, you know, just like being critics. And it's like, oh, I'm going to listen to something. And if it gets like overly sexual, that's like listening to that Cupcake Girls album. Like, oh, yeah, we, no. That's the thing, though. Sometimes we end up we. It's a good and a bad thing because we end up listening to shit we wouldn't normally. But then sometimes that's not a good thing, yeah. dude. So <laughs> speaking of like, like just the cup, because that comes to mind. Because like that cupcake album, I know. I think it was your sister, Mark, who did yeah, the review, yeah, yeah. and she like hated it. And I like so listened she, to it. I'm so glad she took that out. <laughs> yep, she's a real MVP I for that one. Actually, Ooh. I think I like Ratchet Rap because I loved it because it's Wait. too uncomfortable. Who speaking of ratchet rap? Who is the the broad that blocked all of us? <laughs> Jungle, Jungle Pussy. pussy. <laughs> Jungle Pussy. Holy shit! What a name. We, we oh, we're all, gonna get to that. We're all oh yeah, individually, we'll get to that. We're gonna talk to her. I'm gonna get her on the damn podcast. <laughs> we're gonna get to her though. But then, um, obviously, we dropped our last episode where he had little Vic. Cool dude came out. Fucking. He was the man. He came out, gave us a dope little interview. He chopped it up with us. Knows a lot about hip hop, so you know he's a real, real fucking student of it. So the project after that was um, Portraits by uh, Chris Oric. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> god! This dude. looks like it was put together in MS Paint. <laughs> you know I what's just, crazy? I, don't I looked at Is the that cover. His <laughs> It may be. Loki, it so. may be. It looks like a so this this Bro, project fucked me up. Man. It threw me off because, like, I don't know. Usually, like the fat white guy rap, I'm into. Like, like I fuck with John Wayne, like heavy. So I look at this and I'm like, oh, this is a serious, <coughs> serious album cover. So we're gonna get some serious raps. And it's like, the, the production was dope. 
Absolutely, I agree with you. Yeah, the production was mad old school hip hop, but like this dude is just like it's the same rhyme schemes. He some stuff he's rapping about. And some he's stuff. not even he's like he's like he's rapping about like that deep, dark, depressing shit. Yeah, like, and I get it. But it just didn't like, sound cool. good. It, like it, it's not. It, he just sounded off the whole time. Yeah, he was just like, <sighs> I don't want to. He, he just sounds like someone who's like. Hey, maybe I can rap, and I, you know, I have like bar mitzvah money rap. or something, and it's like he I'll put together rap. a solid album. And he's just like rapping, and it's like oh. he has like, like you know, in there he has like his little like a, a cool little rhyme scheme, or he has like a cool little bar here. But, but it's, it's not interesting. It's, just, it's buns mm. because in his he's, voice he's monotone as shit. Yeah, too. and it just it he's takes away from like. Jackson Bronson. Lies and slander. Don't even, don't even slander. See, that's the thing. He sounds like he has no voice. Lies and slander. This dude's voice is like non-existent. Like it just doesn't fit. You know what I'm saying? But that song, Mom, actually was dope. But it's like you got all this smooth boom bap, and you're like whispering on it. (laughs) Yeah. So it's like, sorry, dude, but hopefully his next one's good. You know, but well, you know, we'll see. Hopefully. Uh, I think I found that via like just like a, a sponsor on like Facebook. You're you know? welcome. <laughs> yeah, you took that out. Someone, oh, one of our uh, one of our guys who like who just always comments and like gets on shit. What's it, who is it? Um, he's like a long name. Eight oh eight guapo. Uh, no, the other one. Or uh, the guy with the bear. Yeah, the guy with the bear. Him. He oh, was okay. like, damn, I thought this is gonna because he tells the review. He's like, yo, I think this is gonna be good, and he's just like, shit, you know. He's like, I like what he's rapping about, but he's like, he gets it. So. My favorite project of the week <laughs> is the next one we did, Why I'm Here by K Profit. <laughs> so, K Profit. So, all right, I'm going to make sure this is very clear. You look at our page and it says submit music at your own risk. So, don't that be means soft. don't be, just do not be, like, don't be soft because, like, we're not about If it's that shit. buns and you know it's buns. <laughs> And don't this project is... Especially if you send it to us. <laughs> well, the problem is people don't know it most of the times. So that's why they're submitting it. They think it's fire. And, they, and what's crazy, well. I put it on every page. Like, all they have to do is read. These kids are just like, oh, I see a review. Let me send a blind message. Then they get hit with the auto message that tells them what to do. They still do it wrong. So it's like, fuck it. You know, that because, like, at the end of the day, I, I like to call it where we are record label 101 like a lesson in what labels and how vicious labels are you know what i'm saying so these cats need to learn that like people aren't gonna jock you if like you're trying to make business with them so these kids get fucking killed so this kid sends this project in M, please tell us more about it i don't even want to talk about it to be honest with you (laughs) what'd you you give this one (laughs) zero (laughs) zero Nothing. He gave it nothing. Oh my god. Who said? Dude, you the- know what? It's it's one of those projects that is you sit there and you listen to it and it's it's just incomplete. What's crazy is the production is actually dope. I don't think so. I think that song too, Bless the one where you can't hear him at all. I think that production oh, okay. is right. smooth. He but he just over, I guess whoever I, I wouldn't say the production and then whoever mixes. Yeah, yeah, no, no, the engineering. You mean the engineering's yeah, trash. The engineering is trash. Yeah, you Absolutely one you can't garbage. hear him. He like like I couldn't hear shit. Like I thought like my window was open when I was listening to it in the car. Like <laughs> it, 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 like I said, like I, I said in the review, like it sounds like the person who did it robbed him. Oh yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> if he he probably he, sent it he, through he, Lander after recording it on like his yeah, cell phone. Took, took, took that hundred dollars and was just like, "Bad, I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna send you back a bunch of garbage." Oh dude, yeah, it sounds like shit. You can't hear him. He's his he, he, he is cornball rap. Like he's just like, "Oh, I'm intelligent. I know some words, so I'm gonna oh, make them I'm rhyme." Pick a thought. Oh, I'm gonna pick a thought. Oh, come on, bro. Oh no, no, like, that seriously? no pick is it the no, pick a thought? <laughs> That's young Green. No, of course, it's of a course. dope song. Man. Uh, yeah, but of course, of course, Don D is gonna be there. Like, oh no, it's my soul. <laughs> <laughs> I do like some. I like ratchetry. I, I've learned that about okay. myself. But this, the, <laughs> no, this song's Bums. trash. Like this out. This this project is trash. But I'm gonna have to put Homeboy on the spotlight. Where's my fire? Where's my fire noise? I'm gonna put this kid in the spotlight. So Homeboy hit us up. Like, oh man, thanks for the you know the criticism, <laughs> the birds. Thanks for the criticism and all that stuff. But um, please, can you take it down? And at first I was like, you know what, man, maybe I'll take it down, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, let me ask, let me ask the guys, you know? So I told the kid like, yeah, maybe I'll take it down. But then I asked the guys, I'm like, yeah, what do you guys think? And they're just like, no, fuck that. Like you, you asked for it to be put out there. If you want a review, you get a review. 
that's and, our content. So now we look like we're not moving, like yeah. we're not putting stuff out as much. And it looks crazy because it's like we wasted our time for your garbage ass fucking project. I wasted my time. I wasted my good. <laughs> it becomes time. personal when it sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a fact because it's like you, you really, you really took a chance. You really thought this was gonna, we we're gonna fucking be like, yo, this is fu-. like, you, you clearly listen to music. You know what music, good music sounds like. So it's like. Just because you, you made it. That, how do you think this was acceptable? How do you think this? <laughs> seriously, that's how I feel about when people put out garbage yeah. projects. You yeah. listen to music on a daily basis as an artist. I don't care yeah. what you like, even if it's on the radio or if it's at home. If you put out, a, you you know what it sounds like when it's mixed, mastered, engineered, all that nonsense, and then you put out your own project and it doesn't even sound even a quarter of the quality. Why do you think you should put it out? Yeah, exactly. Why? Exactly. Don't start spending money on something and then stop halfway. Exactly. But don't tell people to take the fucking review down. Like, and I'm just like, you know what? No, not happening. And he started sending all sorts of paragraphs like, whoa, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro. He was mad. There's no fucking contract agreement to this fucking review. It's public. You put it out. We reviewed it. You asked us to. We put it out. It's our page. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't come crying. And he's like, whoa. You're not paying us for a review. Yeah. We're doing you a favor. <laughs> I should have I just sent him an invoice while he was telling me to take it down. Oh, should have draked them, that's, right? That's what you should start doing to people. They ask us to take No, we can't do that because then we might get biased opinions Fact. and start robbing people. And the subject's going to be softness. There's <laughs> an invoice for being <laughs> bitch made. Someone's album and be like, give me a K and I'll take it down. Yep, <laughs> facts. I'll do it. Dude, I, and you know what? And if he still follows us or if he actually listens to this, please, if you want to come Don't on this and project. defend Move yourself, please do. Come defend yourself. Up. Or put out a better project. Shut us up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I will continue to talk shit about you. Until Make then. Music. <laughs> but until then, live long and prosper. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> so the project after that was a fire one. This was We Came to Play by James the Mormon. Wow. 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 I love the name. Love this album. I absolutely like that song that has everybody. It's like they're like little cypher. Oh, um, uh, was Buck it Buck Wild. Wild? Buck Wild. Yo, what? Like, yeah. it, like you sit there and listen to it, and you're just like, it reminds you of that, like, all the, like a Wu Tang, like everybody, it, yeah, there, like doing their thing, like everybody was spin bars, nobody. And slack. like, I don't know who any of them are. I'm like, are they Mormon too? Like, how many wives do they and, have okay, collectively? So I, <laughs> I, I knew about James the Mormon like way back in the day. Well, like he had the I'm not a rapper, like the EP mm. way back in the day, and he was fire then, and I thought he fell off the map. Well, this that. with this shit this, was fire. This 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 proves that James the Mormon was doing his thing up in Utah. Yeah, yo, seriously, anyone who fucking like just loves like straight raw hip hop, like this Buck Wild track alone, test it out and let us know. Like this shit reminds me of when fucking Big L had those tracks off of Lifestyles with everyone, the ones with like Jay Z and Cameron on it, where everybody was on it. You know what I'm saying? And everyone came in different style, just spazzing off rip. Oh, it was so, oh my god. Yeah. It's good shit, man. Project was uh, fucking fire. Real hip hop. Yeah. Real hip hop. If you it's, like it's raps, still out there, guys. if you like raps, please. If you like Playboy Cardi, stop listening Don't to this. Her. This is God, not for you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> He's cutting me a check, man. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> the next project was "In the Comfort of" by Sango. Project was smooth, man. Bruh. Project was smooth, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it was out of this world. Like the production on it, it, like I enjoy just instrumentals alone. But when you throw like a dope feature on it, who can sing or who can Jameson? rap? He sound and his voice is crazy. His voice, is like both rapping and singing, is fire. Like he sounds dope. Nuts, absolutely nuts. Just a solid project. So nice on your ears. Yeah, this, was a, this one was good. I, I really enjoyed this project too. I was like, all right. I, me and Angie were bumping it on the way back, and I'm like, oh, this is good. Usually, Angie's like the, if you want like a quick review, just play a few songs for her, and she'll just be like, no, nah, I don't like this, or like just straight up. <laughs> yeah, like four songs in, like nah. Yeah, she'll tell you like within the first three seconds of a song, uh-uh, uh-uh. So that's that's the real not your man's like that's her rating system. That's why she's not doing it. Bugs, 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 bugs. She'll while just we're be dishing here, out stamps. While we're, while we're while we're sitting here listening to an hour, two minute track, she's sitting here doing reviews in five minutes. <laughs> she's over it. Like we're no. dissecting songs and shit <laughs> just to get the same like no. Oh yeah. yeah. She's, uh-uh, but uh-uh. she said just sitting here with the no. Nah. <laughs> 
But um, yeah, that project was mad smooth. So let's get to our favorite. So I think this is the third or fourth person that blocked us on Instagram. We're, uh, we're all oh, blocked yeah. and we're she, all blocked individually too now. She <laughs> did not take this well. So this no. project is <laughs> JP3 by Jungle Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> a John, name that people saying, can't say comfortably no matter what you first are. First off, first off, congratulations for being able to secure that tag on every social media. <laughs> yes, a fact. And, and not and not get taken down. I'm saying. So yeah. good for you. Yeah, good for you. Second, she looks like Chris Rock in a wig. Nah, man. She looks like ASAP <laughs> no, Rocky. She looks no, like, yeah, fact, like, like Joey, Joey Badass. <laughs> Like, we know that's you, Joey Badass. We're we know you don't want to rap consciously all the time. <laughs> it's Joanna Mad, Joey Badass. <laughs> <laughs> Too Wong Fu, Joey Badass. Oh, man. Regardless of what she looked like, the album was Buds. Oh, man. So, well, see. Yeah, this. <laughs> We're all blocked individually. This album oh, was man. Buds. This project was wild, man. Oh, man. I, like, it is what it is. But she blocked us just like, oh, that's two girls that blocked us. Well, who was it? Saweetie blocked us, too. Saweetie blocked us in, like, 30 seconds. Yes. Yeah, real see, quick. And we do give out positive ratings to other femcees. Oh, yeah. They kill it. They kill it I sometimes. single them out when they do their thing. Like, I, I like to give them props because, yeah. you know what I mean? There's a lot of buns femcees out there. So, <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, yeah, go, is, go to you, jungle pussy. Oh, I can't even say that anymore. Oh, man. <laughs> Push it to you, ad lib. Yeah, it's Project Wild, man. What a name. But honestly, <laughs> this is one of those ones that rated low or not, please listen to it. <laughs> no. <laughs> please listen to it. No. I mean, give it a listen to. Don't think we're just talking shit. Oh man, yo, no, what is good? Shit, My man fun. is back from the meeting. What is you, you had a meeting, dog? <laughs> yes, the Perfect. man, the the legend. Please, he is here. So, nice of you to join us. Yeah, man, we miss you, man. Dude, we honestly, I'm coming for you soon. Everybody thinks you're dead. I don't want to try to hear like, let's stop coming. What is happening? Go back. Oh man, but um, all right, so. <laughs> we're we're like we're kind of halfway through, I guess. But um, so the next project that uh, that was done by uh, M did this project, Astral Hour by Nivelle Viracocha. Ba- baby what? Andre, <laughs> baby yo, seriously, baby three stacks. For real, like yeah. I listen, to, I listen to this album like on a daily basis. Yeah, exactly. this this album's smooth. Like the first the first song will set the tone. Period. If you, if you yep. listen to the first song, you know what you're in for. And it's dope. He can sing. He can rap. He's baby three stacks like, and that's not like an easy thing you just throw out there. Uh, yeah, I yeah. wish three so, stacks would rap more. Ha, <laughs> that, 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 mo- that Mother's Day shit. Seventeen <laughs> minutes of just puns. What? I, I'm so glad I didn't even bother. I let somebody else in the group chat Let's listen to it first. John, John <laughs> took that. Somebody for said. Us. Somebody said no raps, and I was like, nope. Yep, yeah, was, I was pissed because like I wasted like thirty oh. minutes of my time on two tracks, and I was like, there's zero raps. Because one track was 17 minutes of just piano and. Wait, hold on. What's going on with your sound, sir? What do you want? A, you want a flip phone? JP, you sound dusty. <laughs> uh, yo, give me like five minutes. Uh, uh, yeah, do you think? Do you uh, think? Uh, don't, don't do it to us. <laughs> flashbacks, flashbacks. What happened last time? <laughs> Oh man, flashbacks. But um yeah, this project this project was dope, man. This project was smooth and it's a good time because he can rap too. So that's that's always good. You're a weapon if you can sing, be smooth on all sorts of production and you sound like baby three stacks, a little less country. You, 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 like a vampire. <laughs> For real. His name is Fire. Yeah. It's a little, it's a, it's intense. Like hey, I picture him having him. a perm. Shout out to him for uh, calling our review his official review, though. Yo, facts. He actually hit us up quick. He, like, messaged us and everything. Yo, he was mad cool about it. Yep. Yeah, he posted it. It's giving people follows, man, showing love. But um, so project after that is uh, I'm Not Here, This Isn't Happening by China. Two N's. C-H-Y-N-N-A. Oh, so J-Dub did this. And you were ju- you just got out of the kind of my woman. Oh, <laughs> it's, hard. it's hard. Yeah. She got really? me at the end. She got me at the end. I was like, okay, there it is. She, st- yo, hard. she honestly though, I like, I like this little EP. I was gonna say, did you actually listen to this? Yeah, I like, I liked it. She's one. She could be a problem. Yeah, she can fucking rap. <laughs> yeah. 
like she even was, like those last couple songs. Yeah, Shangri La. She spazzed. Yeah, she blacked on Shangri La. She started like the beginning. She the yeah. first song she does and the new beat, age shit. Dude, the Shangri La beat is fire. Yeah, this I project's was like, dope. Where did she get this? The art's dope. <laughs> Damn son. <laughs> no, she's fucking fire. Like she. Yeah. The first I track she did like she the swag. Be, mm -hmm. yeah, I would like to see a full project from her because yeah. I feel like. I feel like the reason why I didn't, I wasn't feeling the first like couple songs, was I feel like it was like a half done concept album. Yeah. Like there was something missing, and it just there's another cat on the roof. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there's a different house. That's there's the hangout. <laughs> on the roof. For people listening, J Dubs from Florida, so shit like this is normal, kind of. No, it is normal. <laughs> Cats are wilding out there. Oh man, uh, just sorry. on the roof. That's yeah, the no, spot. This <laughs> this shit, this I don't know, man. I don't. She, I would like to see a full length project from her. Yeah, because I feel like she could do, she could really do something with the concept. Honestly, this is like an EP it's where like you feel like emotional. she's testing, she's testing the waters because she has new age, yeah. and then she has like she's this rap, like real heavy shit. Like she's rapping on hard shit. It's not like soft rap type shit. Yeah. These songs are. Like, oh yeah, they're angry. It, I it gave me the. I'm definitely gonna come back to it and listen to it again. Cause. It gave me like a old, a little bit of an old Vince Staples type feel with the way she was getting at some the of the The female tracks. Vince Staples, before, oh, before he fell off the bandwagon. Uh, before he, before he realized white people was paying, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, that project definitely recommended, man. She, props she, to her, man. She's spitting. Yeah, she can at least she, listen to the fire tracks. You won't be disappointed. Facts. That's why they're fire. Listen to the playlist, the Spotify playlist. Not fucking around. We do it for plug the Spotify plug, plug, plug. <laughs> quarterly playlist. <laughs> plug, plug, we plug, only plug, put plug, plug, fire plug. and up quarterly playlist. Get at us, not your man Spotify. I'm trying to do it on um, iTunes, and it's like breaking my phone. <laughs> it's a lot of music. I got an app that's like doing the transfer, and whenever I open it, my phone just gets hot. <laughs> it's like, nah. it just and, starts making a whistling noise. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's mad. It's, it fucking pisses me off too, because some of the songs, like, it'll transfer it, and it'll just be the fucking edited version. I'm like, fuck. Oh, oh. no, it's yeah, only. Fix your apps, but um. So <laughs> the project yeah, after that, I, dude, I don't like to, you. I, this is the only thing I do in the computer is the podcast. I, I'm very dangerous on my phone and lazy at the exact same time. <laughs> I think it's lazy. Watch it. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. So the next project is, um, what is this? Uh, Money Changed Everything, which is a dope title, like dope Facts. album name. But so this true. is Iskirdo. Ecstatic, man. Iskirdo. 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 <laughs> this uh, project is very, very smooth. Is this the guy Little Pump's been talking about? No. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, though. <laughs> nice. Uh, they, they, well, yeah, they, yeah. They, should, they should be talking about him because everybody, hmm. he, he writes for uh, everybody. Yeah. He writes for everybody. When I mean he writes for everybody, I mean he writes for fucking everybody. This you dude. Literally, you Google his name everything all his awards most of his awards are for other people's songs which is rough that's got to be painful i would be pissed the bag bro that's you gotta true build, you gotta build wealth see this dude now this is the type of dude remember that nestle dude who like sent that whole paragraph like oh it was a style that i created and it was raped and taken advantage of by this generation blah 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 i would believe this guy over him yes because this guy's music's actually good Absolutely agree with you 100% yeah. with that one. His music's actually not buns. No, it's yeah. not buns at all. It's yeah. like a really good, it's a solid listen. He's talking about some real shit. Yeah, like this guy's like Whole Foods and that guy's like Sea Town. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. No frill. <laughs> yeah. This shit is he's 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 Splenda, but um, this shit right here it's really smooth. I mean, what was uh, you you compared to him to someone in the project who dropped something that was being <laughs> Kyle? <laughs> oh Lord, and Nav like listening to both. I'm like, oh, this is if this is Nav if he was good. Yeah, that's exactly what I felt. <laughs> that's exactly how I felt. Yeah, like the, it's the same. Like he kind of has the same instrumentals. Like they, they're kind of similar. Yeah. It's but like he's the same tone. Like, he's not medicure, pedicure it, 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 but no. But he's sitting there and he's like, he's talking about shit. You know, he's not talking like you said. He's not talking about manicures and pedicures. I don't want to hear you rap about manicures and pedicures, ladies and gentlemen. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Rap about real <laughs> shit. <laughs> Mark Mark says he doesn't give a fuck, but he'll bitch about it two reviews later. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring it up in another review. <laughs> in that other album that was bugs. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> you gotta think about it. That Nav album hurt uh, me so much. It was trash. And it was it, like, <laughs> just in time, like, quick review. We have a late night special. Womp. <laughs> <laughs> Womp. I hate people. Oh, man, yeah. Fucking people suck, but just like Nav. But, um... <laughs> After that, we had a, uh, oh man, hold on. I think my man M strikes again with the kind of my mans. I hate so you. for people listening, M is the king of kind <laughs> of my mans. I hate it. I hate it. Weren't you, it was just like like three weeks ago. You were yeah. like, I've given out no, no <laughs> contest. Like, and then it was like, no, 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 no. I don't know what happened. I guess that's the universe speaking to me. Yeah. Like, hey, man. Just I just got a deal. Off the end of like, and I just. And I just picked oh. stuff. I just picked stuff off the list, <laughs> and I just so happened to pick the kind of buns stuff, and it sucks. <laughs> kind you know, of like, buns. And I, and like, and I don't. Oh, and, like, honestly, I I try to be as petty as possible, <laughs> so I try to give like four point nines and stuff like that. <laughs> but as of recent, man. It's been like those 6.0s. Hey, the music that. tells you. Sometimes you really feel that. You're like, ah. I'm making an honest man out of him. <laughs> I hate Dude, this uh, project honestly broke my heart, though. This So this project is Beast Mode Volume 1 by Sheik Luch. Okay, first off, you can't, like, I feel like it's more disrespectful that he got a kind of anyways <laughs> with that cover art and name. Yeah. Like, for you to get a... And it's, and it's Sheik Luch. Yeah, and I like Sheik. I like Sheik's projects. I usually think his projects are just aggressive, like they're just hype. You know, like they're aggressive New York hip hop. Like, and this project was fucking. He's doing the new age. He's fine. Like your crazy raspy ass voice trying to sing. Get the fuck out! Like nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no one wants to hear you. Yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to I hear. I want to hear shit. you say fuck Sheik Luch. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck you too. Yeah, I like. I want to hear that. Yeah, I'm trying to hear you talk about guns. I'm not trying to hear you sing and use words like lit. Get the fuck. Like you're you're forty something. Like get the fuck out of here with grown, that bullshit. Grown ass man. <sighs> yeah, man. I'm not. I'm not into that shit. You know. But uh, this project was it was, it was Reggie's man. This project was fucking meh. That's what I'm saying. Like, he got a solid meh. <laughs> Not my meh. Kind of my <laughs> meh. <laughs> I literally oh, gave him a 6 out of a 6 out of 10. It was kind yeah. of just like... <laughs> and on the Thursdays, I like I like to do the old school guys, but I like when the old school guys do good. You know? Don't yeah, come no, out with no don't, bullshit. Don't, uh, yeah. Don't, don't let, let us, no, don't let no, us no, know you're washed. No one is safe. <laughs> <laughs> no one is saying we'll find you and we will stamp you <laughs> that's seriously I, that's a great quote don't let us know you're washed <laughs> that's so disrespectful <laughs> like you're, you're like you're lucky you're not in new york because he's sending people right now it's gonna take me and mark out fucking shots. <laughs> so this next project i gave a 10 out of 10 i fucking love this project is I'm, that your first one Nice. No, I think it's my second ten out of ten. I gave um I gave uh Planet Asia's fucking project. Yo, you know he dropped another project on Friday. Fuck out of here. Yo, he dropped another full album. Did you do the review already? Nah, I just I just found out it dropped. It's got no, a so great we'll, name. So, so it'll go on to that list that nobody wants to even look at right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put it to higher at the list. Though, hopefully, <laughs> that in. but this project that uh, dropped is M3. It's a uh, uh, Jazzy Jeff DJ Jazzy Jeff put out a project, pretty much predominantly with Rhyme Fest and uh, Dane Jordan. They're doing most of it, but there's like this dude Umir who's all over it and this dude Aaron Camper like singing his ass off and doing extra shit on there but this project was fucking fire and Rhyme Fest still has it he always had it though. oh my god it is shout project out to, shout out to Rhyme never Fest put it down fucking shots at Kanye West oh dude Kim K no, tried no, to come no, at him no. and he Kim fucking po- be, politely he politely like was like nah woman like I'll show you <laughs> Even I though she you. did come at him hard, like that's how you defend your man. She did. She came out with, she came out with the defense. Yeah, you know, she tried to protect her ass. She hit him so. with yo, yo. Women are powerful when it comes to that that pettiness, bro. She hit him with like a culture vulture slash. You're not relevant slash. Don't come at my <laughs> man because he's relevant right now. All in one shot, bro. In like three tweets. Yeah, bro. Like they don't even allow like that many characters. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's my bag. <laughs> She fucked him up, but he he came back like a I man. He didn't do no ignorant like I'm in the spotlight shit. He was just like, yo, nah, dead ass. This like is, a maniac, though. Yeah, this is this is some shit. And I was like, all right, man, I fuck with that. Cause he was like, it was like over some shit over like Kanye's mom and like how Kanye doesn't respect people, like doesn't Kanye care about the kids. Fuck the shit, you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even believe he said that. I definitely believe he said that. I feel like he didn't even say it like that. It's like Kanye, how do you feel about the youth? Poop. Fuck scoop. You. Poop. Scoop. <laughs> 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 Scoopy doop. 
But um, Am this I project too complex yeah. for complex. Huh? <laughs> didn't he say? Didn't he say that he wanted to like uh, change his mom's house, Kanye's mom's house, into like some type of a youth center or something? Yeah, like yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what Ron, yeah, Ron Fest was saying that Kanye like was originally on board with that, and then like was like, nah, fuck the youth type shit, like, soon, you know. Asshole. Yeah, like, <laughs> like love your love love your town, bro. That's wild, man. Kanye's a wild. I mean, if that's true, he's a wild man. Fuck, because yeah. like Ryan Fest, he posted like that email, but I didn't like read a lot of words. You know, I don't fuck with that many words. <laughs> Not your man. Yeah, don't you like gotta, words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you gotta sit there and like. You know, zoom yeah. into it to read it. I'm not yeah. about that. Line. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm that not that invested. Post lately. If they post like a long rant or some shit, I just comment TLDR. <laughs> <laughs> Too long to read, dude. And people are hurt by like those letters will hurt someone who posted like oh, some yeah, real man. shit. I, I, got, I like, you know, you know Ricky Mark. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I, uh, I triggered him one time with that. <laughs> <laughs> Triggered. Yeah, people get butt hurt over anything on social media. It's it's fantastic. But uh, this project, though, yo, honestly, if you like it, this project, to me, is brought me back. I felt it's like it was DJ the first Tazzy time, Jeff. dude. His one, his cuts are dope. The production is fucking incredible. But Rhyme Fest and Dane, Jane Jordan, like, it brought me back to when I first listened to Black Star. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had that feel. This whole project. Second reference <laughs> to Black Star. Not with that. <laughs> with now with that new uh Will Smith uh Ooh. verse that just came out. Dude, Will Smith dropped a F- Will Smith's and album sounds together. like this. I am going to lose my mind. I Yo, need Will this. Smith blacked out. Yeah, he fucking that was did. Sick. Yeah. yeah. That I shit like, felt yeah, good. good. And it still felt family friendly minus the stripper death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was PG thirteen. Yeah, it was P- it did hurt. It was PG thirteen. Oh man. But he went off, and then he brought up Halle Berry and Rihanna. I know what he's doing. I see him. I, I feel like the word shit is just so acceptable now, so you have to accept that, John. Yeah, that's I know. Nothing. I just, just, I just want to save like the cursing for Bad like Boys Three. Movies. You know? <laughs> no. Come on. We'll never get under a PG thirteen rating. I promise. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's the only time I want Will this Smith to curse at, at best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I just don't want Will Smith's music, you know. Just, just don't let me down. Will Smith ain't have to curse his raps to sell record. Dude, I did say him, if he says, if he throws an Eminem shot with like that line yes, kind of reference, to. shake the world. That'd be amazing. Shake Now's the, the world. time. This Strike is the Wally time. Because then, right there, Will Smith <laughs> sold an extra million more albums. Facts. All right. Oh man, I hate that. he needs to. He needs to release. Dude, it how do we get that it. Eminem it. versus Let's Will see. Smith on Drop the Mic with Method Man? I'm there. <laughs> Um, buying yeah. tickets today winner <laughs> takes jerry springer <laughs> <laughs> the goat but uh yeah yo this honestly this project if you're an old school hip-hop fan if you like smooth shit if you like just thinking of like what it feels like listening to john legend breathe on a rap album this is it like this shit is smooth it is very very solid like this shit feels good the beats are fire Did you, the wait, raps wait, wait. are there hold on hold on <laughs> did you do say john legend breathe facts that, oh my <laughs> John Legend's pure smoothness. That man I was birthed you. from a bottle of cocoa like butter. butter. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like if John Legend was, like, put out an ad that you can just hire him as a friend to bring to social events, like, it would just sell out. Nah, People would just I pay for it. I bet he's low-key boring. For <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> you, you know what? His wife is the, is the fun person. Yes, his, his wife is the fire in his life. He's she, bullies him. Sure. Yeah, yeah, she bullies he's... him on Twitter. It's pretty fantastic. <laughs> she bullies everybody on Twitter, apparently. That's a fact. Well, but, we uh... can start tagging her and start having her bully us, man. <laughs> Yo, fact. We need to be friends with her. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I'm surprised John, I, this album needed John Legend. I'm surprised he's, uh, I'm surprised he's not on it. Mm-mm. Hey, but, um, I mean, either way, though. He's like, too busy being dad. Facts. Yo, we need another wake up though. Real real shit. John Legends to go. Oh yeah. But yo, Rhymefest said a Kanye line on this album that broke my heart. What did he say? He like dropped I don't know the, the exact line, but it's like on the first uh like on the first actual track, which is track two. He like drops like uh yeah, Kanye Kanye kinda just did me dirty on the label and like just left me, you know, out at sea. Oh no. <laughs> and it hurt, <laughs> but it was such a dope line. This year's this project's dope. There's bars everywhere. There's grown man shit everywhere. There's struggle on here. Like it, and it's smooth. And Jazzy Jeff's cuts are just fucking out of this he's world. Good, he's literally one of the best of all time. 
all time. Like, if anybody disputes that, die. <laughs> Facts. All right, moving on. <laughs> but um, so next project is um, I'm eating again, obviously. Steal this mixtape. Was it two? Three. I think three. Three. Steal three. this mixtape three by uh, Napoleon the the Legend with the D A. Napoleon the Legend. Duh. Great name. Duh. And he spits bars. And this album cover is fucking literally fire. Fire. <laughs> yeah, it's dope. Maybe one of it's one of my favorites. Of yeah, the it's year. easily one of the best that of the man year. Is actually on fire. Yeah, that man is on fire, posing in a picture, and the color scheme is fucking beautiful. But he is rapping. Light skin's got bars. Uh, no ass. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> <Just> quick bars. <laughs> yeah, he's yo M. Talk about it because you don't you don't like to give a lot of high high ratings, but you no, gave this a nine. I- and I even gave it like the whole like solid like respect for the Ice T thing. Like he gave, he paid homage to Ice T too. Like mm-hmm. he was just rapping about real shit. Like I oh the production, just everything. It was just such a solid project for sixteen for that, tracks. Yeah, for sixteen tracks. And it, I don't like to listen to people that I know about. So this is one of those. Like I picked it, like Napoleon. Like, like that's a dope name. Yeah. I expect buns nowadays. I really do. <laughs> like everything that I pick nowadays you is have buns. To prepare yourself so, for yeah, it. everything is buns to start. Everything starts at a five point oh. First... <laughs> everything starts at a kind of my man's. <laughs> yeah. Because so, it's you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he starts off the first track, and you're like, okay, all right, I'm getting ready. So he gets like that six point oh. Then he's like, fire, fire, fire. And you're like, all right, all right, all right. You're about that life. You're about the real rhyme scheme. Yeah. And he's like, and he's always, and he, we did another review. He fucks with knots and woo and all them people. Mm-hmm. So you know he's about that life. You know he can rap. Also, humble dude messaged us, commented on the post, like was all about it, reposted it all on his own. Please, everybody needs to do this. Just, hey, just show us a little bit of love. We're taking our time. To do this for you guys, just, just show us a little bit of good love. Review, like, and we're exactly. trying to show it to like Even you know five hundred people. We have a lot of people. It's a good. It's a good look for you. Oh look, somebody <laughs> yeah. rated my album good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it looks good. Like fuck it, and it's a oh, new and thing. That, and that Nefertiti, uh, that fem- the girl on Encrypted Wisdom. Mm. Bro, mm. exactly. Mm. Yuck. <laughs> the queen. Oh. The queen. She snapped. Yo, people don't realize that diamonds are a big deal to us, and that got a diamond. Like, the beat, too, bro. Like, the way, oh, my God. (laughs) There was one of those. It started bumping in the the room, and I'm like, "Uh uh-oh. I need need to turn this down before I hurt somebody. Fire. Super duper fucking fire, man. I, hey, I, I, it, it's good. It looks good. You, you look, look good. good. You look good. You look good. <laughs> but um, so that one was just, it was a good time. So I'm going to bring this one up because this this one was Troll City. So <laughs> <laughs> so for, <laughs> for the Face Off Friday, because obviously both of their albums dropped that day, I did a who is better, who is better post. So I put ASAP Rocky versus Pusha T. One, no one acknowledged that. I picked two pictures of them wearing skirts. We noticed. One guy got got real defensive and pointed out that they were actually short. Oh, yeah. And he had, like, another picture, and it was, like, going up Pusher T's pants. I didn't even comment, but, like, that photo was low-key suspect. Those are those those fans that you get worried about. (laughs) Yeah, those are fans you worry about. Trying to catch the dangle. (laughs) Like, as if they still didn't look stupid. Like, he he looked dumb. He's wearing a leather skirt. Shorts to this fan. We don't want him like commenting bad on the review on the podcast. And then ASAP Rocky is literally wearing a long ass like summer dress. Oh yeah, Rocky (laughs) looks like (laughs) Rocky looks like every hood dude's first baby moms. And on one of the posts, (laughs) in one of the posts, John D put who reps New York. Oh yeah, who reps New York better? (laughs) And I started baiting people because everybody, of course, everybody's like, Pusha T's not from New York. Yes, he is. Virginia. And it's too. (laughs) I hit hit him with the picture of he was born in the Bronx. Yeah, and it's crazy (laughs) because he's like responding. (laughs) Like we know he reps Virginia. Got the song Virginia. We know that. But it's like if he was born there, you know, I'm like, all right, this is gonna cause a stir. So people just ignored the question and were immediately. What? We know Pusha T before Pusha T. We knew him when he was part of the clips, was, guys. It was like 50 comments in before somebody I was like, are they wearing dresses? Like yeah, seriously. I have 50 <laughs> comments of people wanting to feel cool. Like, 
oh man, I Googled, he's not from New York. You know what I'm saying? Like people who just feel good that they have to, it's you know, not say where that. He rap, it's not where he's born, it's where he raps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some actually I posted in uh, the angry fan group that I'm in too. And people were like, there was like one thread that went to like almost like 15, 20 comments of dudes actually arguing it out. Like, well, if he says he was born, if he was born in New York, then he's from New York. I don't care. Like dudes were getting ridiculous. And it reminded <laughs> me of coming to America. Like his mom named Cassius Clay. <laughs> I'm going to call him Cassius Clay. Like it reminded me of that. I'm like, yo, these dudes were going at it, bro. But hey, I I did my job. I trolled the shit out of people. But I'm upset no one noticed the skirts or well the skirts and shorts. I just like liked people. Every time somebody was like, are they in skirts? I just like it instead of responding (laughs) anymore. Because you want to. Because that's like that like is a quick thank you. It's like thank you for acknowledging. (laughs) But um, after that, obviously we're gonna do those reviews for theirs. Oh man. All right, we could do this one. The next one, hopefully, what's name's back. But um, oh uh, no, we need to wait for him to get yeah, back. Yeah, I'm I gonna need, save I that one. To, I need to talk to him. Yeah, about. fact. So the first one we did was Daytona Pusha T's album, obviously. Fire. Welcome back, Kanye West. Sunken plays Kanye West. Wyoming. Sunken. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we need more of this Kanye. Oh my god. Yes. This production. Let's talk about. I it. listened to it two more times after I reviewed it. <laughs> Just it, kept listening to it. Well, you can because it's only twenty one minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's it's good every time. I just leave it on repeat. I've listened to it more than two times. Like I just leave it on. They call like, it I drove an from album. My and... house to like Kissimmee the other day and I just left it on. Oh yeah, it's that good. Yeah, I did the same thing at work. Oh, it feels good. Fire. It feels fucking good. Uh, you catch a new you catch a new bar every time you listen to it. Oh yeah. And his bars are so simple, but his delivery is so great and like he just mastered it bro like that's a vet his cadence is fire and his delivery is dope because like he could say something that just sounds simple when you hear it again you're like oh you know yeah yeah i appreciate the only two features that he had both had fire verses ross blacked out man yeah ross (laughs) he spazzed on that kanye's intro to his verse oh my god the beat for hard piano oh my god that's my favorite so that's like that's i would have gave that one a diamond yo you know which one i would have gave a a diamond you got a diamond for a reason Oh yeah, dude! Yeah, Kanye's cool. intro to his what, verse though fucked poop? me up. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I was in, funny. I was hysterical, bro. That shit is a, that's hilarious to me. Because <laughs> the way they set it up, it's like, what does he say? What do you have to say, or whatever they intro it with? <laughs> and it's just like, poop, scoop, scoopity, <laughs> Yeah, how do you respond? Yeah, how do you respond? Yeah, <laughs> scoopy doo. Then he dropped, but he, the, uh, and he, it was relevant though. He dropped the MAGA hat thing line in there. Like, it was fire, bro. Did you guys hear the Push a Breakfast Club interview where he said that uh, Kanye's got another version of that song where it actually has bars on it and it's not just scoopity poop? Yeah, I figured he did. I figured yeah. he just, that was like a reference track and he just was fucking with people. <laughs> like, he's he was being, just seeing, like, how he's he being, was he's being himself. Kanye. Mm hmm. Kanye doing things. Kanye. You know, can I just say that before Drake even dropped his response track, I put the frog in the T. With the eyeballs oh, on yeah. the infrared song because oh, I yeah. knew I knew something was gonna happen. Yeah, and it, was, it happened. And it was serious. Yo, he was. Uh, yeah, inf- infrared was fire. Honestly, but like, I have a question because like my favorite song on here is "Comeback Baby." That song hits me hard, makes me want to fight. It's exciting. The samples fire, like the kick-ins. Oh, everything. you addicts out there! But what's you guys' favorite track, and what's the best instrumental on there? Do you guys? Hard piano is mine. Uh, um, games we play. Games we play. Games we play. Has the best hook too. Hmm. Okay. You think best hook and the instrumental too? Yeah, I would say uh, the on games we put. Yeah, I really like the hard piano instrumental, but I think I have to agree. Hard piano, hard piano, hard piano. All right. All right. They're, like all the fi- they're all fire. They're all fire. was my favorite song overall. Poopity swoop. <laughs> that one got the biggest reaction out of me. Mm. <laughs> I think in my car, Comeback Baby just sounded the best. Like, my window was down. I was being mad ignorant. Like, I felt good blasting that shit. I was getting looks. I was getting looks listening to this shit. Because it was, like, rattling my fucking my windows and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good time, man. I mean, I fuck with it. Um, but, um, all right. So, we're going to skip one because we're going to hopefully wait till what's name comes back. <laughs> I got to talk to him. So, we're going to skip one. But, um. The, the other project toasted. I did, it dropped middle of the week. He did his own thing, not the Friday thing. But this is my first time, like, actually listening to him. I've heard of him a bunch of times. But this project was um, One Fire, <laughs> the name. 
Pray for the Devil by Montana of 300. He gets a lot of sidebar love, but I don't really... His, his shit's repetitive, though. This, this project's wait, fire. Did you, listen, did you listen to this project? No, I didn't get to this one, Yo, but I've heard, he I've heard a shitload cool. of his other stuff. Like, mm. I, I think I commented, like, he actually... Like, John, me and John were like, he actually kills people. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he might actually kill people. <laughs> the, the only problem I had with this project was his, like, singing tracks. He tried to pull off, like, the... The, the I don't know, the cool thug singing type shit. I'm going to sing about some gangster shit. It like just didn't your, sound good. Drake swag. Not even. Like, remember when 50 and them used to do it all the time? They would, like, sing some, hmm. like, silly shit, but it'd be, like, really hood shit. He, like, tried it, and it just doesn't sound good. But everything else, he fucking, I said he's, like, he's, like, a better, but he's, like, Chicago's Meek Mill, but, like, better. Like, he, he, can, he I think he can rap better. He's been, like, I did not expect this out of him at all like i like Montana. i always have like before he went to jail and everything mm. but this man like he lost his mind and i did not expect that like the chirac versus ny is yo that like, track it, it could have been a diamond. diamond it could have been yeah it yeah. could have it was like so close to a diamond because it one the name is hard so it makes you want to listen to it two he did it fucking justice the beats fire that track is special bro that track is really i was like this could low-key be a diamond in my eyes oh should have just done it yeah yeah no. Yo, I, I really should have. Because I, I listened to it so much, I was like, ah. Oh. We're going to have to one day, we'll have to go back and retroactively re-rate everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. that But that that's that Cypher track with, like, all of his people, the the 300 gang, like, that shit. Oh, my God. Another group another group thing. Yo, put them versus the Mormons, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it should be the Mormons versus the 300. <laughs> Chirac Cypher. versus Mormons. Yep, let's go. We out. We got it. We got it. Let's get it on. Yo, yeah, this project was fire. Also, I'm going to throw this up there. This is one of the top album arts I've seen as well. Yeah, absolutely. That album art is ridiculous. I like the name of the album, too. Yeah, Pray for the Devil. That's hard. Pray for the Devil. Sick. (laughs) It's funny, though, like how this cool golden, like, anime picture just has, like, a, a fucking freeway beard. (laughs) Sure. <laughs> but um oh man yo check the actually check the chat real quick see if see if jp like when is he coming in is that actually gonna come back i don't know if he isn't then i'm just gonna go through it actually no you know let's just cook him let's just cook jp <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <So> JP <laughs> did, um, <laughs> so jp did um jp you were you were here this is, this is it this is the mem- memoir of jp yeah that's a fact <laughs> so rip <laughs> JP did testing ASAP Rocky's album. <laughs> yawn, 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 yawn. <laughs> so this project's boring. Sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's he like must have been barred out. <laughs> he was like, yeah, let's let's test out something else. Like retest, please. Like for fucking uh, what was it? Fifteen tracks. Boards. Fifteen tracks. They're all like this would have got a six from me. I, oh I yeah, at I, best. I, I, no man, dude. If I would have gotten this, oof. At best, because the uh, I like the way it started. I had promised the first track. I'm like, oh, this reminds me of that old Rocky, and then the song the that ASAP JP Forever song did not deserve. No, no, no. <laughs> it was a dope track, but I yeah, it was cool. But I think happened. just I think he just read Kid Cudi and then gave it a diamond. Yeah, he was like, diamond. Oh, word. Yeah, oh, Kid Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> And like Moby Ti, like the track's cool, but it's one, it's too long. It's it's way too long. Two, it's just simple. It's like bland. You know what I'm saying? Like white people yeah, seasoning, bro. Like honestly, the album was bones. Yeah, it's pretty boring. Like it, Tony Tone, it was, boring. It was okay. It was oh, it would have got like a like you, you know. What fucked like, me up is I listened to Daytona first. No, yeah, exa- oh yeah, that throws you I li- off. I listened to this. He, I finally, for the first time in Forever Fridays, I didn't have to do anything on a Friday. <laughs> so I just, I was able to like listen to every project. As music. And I left, and Fridays I left, when I listened to a bunch of stuff too. And I listened to Daytona last because I knew Daytona was going to be fine. So <laughs> I, was. I, I listened to. That's a great way to start my day. Mm-hmm. I listened to testing first and I just, I literally sat there like, fuck, this fuck my whole day. Like, I, I, I just, I didn't like it. Like, and I like Rocky <laughs> as a person. I like his raps. <laughs> I used to. <laughs> but Bless right, your heart. <laughs> right now, man, you are you would have got that red stamp for me. I would have tore your ass apart. <laughs> he probably would have got like an orange or like a just, uh, just barely right. green. Yeah. 
because he, uh, I would have been like red borderline orange. I'm going to just put in parentheses like 10 out of 10 for Kid Cudi and then the rest of what, <laughs> what we actually <laughs> Dude, I, once again, shout out to Adam the A-Rab. He posted it and I commented and he literally put JP on blast. He was like, yo, you man, JP gave it a 10 out of 10. And I was like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's man? That's, that's you know that's technically that's I'm our man. That's not my man. <laughs> no, no, that's that's the only time we'll let you give someone a, a kind of my man's without giving you a hard time. <laughs> JP, you get that orange stamp, bro. But uh, uh <laughs> there was some usually, usually on point, dude. Though. You know what gave me like a hard time? Like even looking at the review now, like that the fact that there's a thumbs up next to a Kodak Black track. <laughs> No, see, like, I, I, I already put in a petition, guys, so all my future reviews with Kodak Black on it, his name will not, no longer. I'm not spending my time <laughs> typing his name out anymore. Oh, it's hysterical. It. I mean, the there were some decent tracks. I like the features on it. Like, the Juicy J track was fire. Juicy J's a vet. I like French Montana. His track was good. The Skepta track French was pretty Montana good. French Montana is fun. Chill out. Slander, lies, Wild calm down, relax yourself, buns. sir. Thank you very much. Not he's even ho- like good he, buns, he's like, whole like disrespect. Yeah, like, 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 like gluten free buns. You guys are just like diabetes bread buns. You guys are just disrespectful. You know that hard shit, the government bread. He's like, he's like canned bread. Canned bread saves lives. <laughs> <laughs> Some people but, can't afford the bag but, bread. But Nobody but wants French, to eat but it. French Montana does not. It's an acquired taste. No, it's not. <laughs> you guys are haters. His last album was trash. Haters. <laughs> and then the most upsetting track on this on this album was the last track with um Frank Ocean, and it's just it's not even he the pulled, good side he, of Frank Ocean. He, it's he, the he fucking. Pulled the, he pulled him out of the crib. But it's not Frank even a good Ocean, one. Like, it's just effects on his sleep. voice. It's just Frank Ocean with effects on his voice, and it sounds like a Frank Ocean song. Except he, he doesn't sound like him. Yeah, it was just Ugh. too much effects. Like if it was Frank Ocean's regular voice, would have been a way back, better song. I don't know what the fuck he was doing, dude. You know what? Yeah, tired vocal cords. He yeah, it's. it's <laughs> so, so JP, man, box braids is tight. I, I don't know what happened, bro. I really don't. I don't get <laughs> so he's it. barred oh, out, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the explanation, dude? That's it's how you know, man. C's. See, that's what happens when you Maybe when you devil's to lettuce like... too much, man. That's what JP Whoa. smoked himself into a Whoa, cutty coma. <laughs> <laughs> no prohibition slander. Fuck out of here. <laughs> we already talked about this. No, there's no there's the marijuanas. No there's no allegedly, no none of that. So dangerous. <laughs> the marijuanas, all right. Okay. Don't do it to yourself. Oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> so here's what we. All right, this is where the wolves came out. If you guys saw this post on Instagram oh. and they read the comments, there was some fucking violence. Comments. We were out for blood. So we the face off. The this wasn't even face off, right? It was just like an additional. It was a bonus for the day because it was obviously what everyone was talking about. But we loved it too. Was. Infrared versus Drake's Duppy remix. The, uh, oh bitch my slapping goodness! Of Pusha T, which oh my called. goodness! And now it's like if you're if you listen to me, if you know what music is, if you listen to hip hop, and like we're we we are not fanboys. We're sick of people's fanboy bullshit because you fucking ruined music with that bullshit. If you listen to both tracks, every factor of it points to Drake calmly giving a nice little ass whooping to to real. him and good music. <laughs> slow roasted him. Yeah. Like Drake's little ass whooping towards Push gave Rhyme Fest like plus five, you know, <laughs> plus five rap clout just from being back from the dead type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like Drake went the fuck off. He took a shot at he, Kanye. He, like he, he, he woke up the sleeping giant. Bucking shots at everybody. Everybody. And then people were like, oh, people were pulling out the fucking semantics and all that soft fucking. There was people that weren't even listening to it. They were like, no, he didn't win. Yo, just real shit. Of Pusher fans. We... I'm a big Pusher fan. I just yeah. gave his album a nine out of ten. Three posts like, ago. <laughs> I'm saying so. Like, I'm not like I'm not saying this is over, but he yeah, yeah. Lost this round. But this round, round is it's a wrap. Yeah, that's it. This round is round over. One <laughs> round one, Drake. Clear. Drake shit in his hand and slapped him with it. <laughs> Yo, not the and Drake sending the fucking in posting the invoice, everything like Drake fucking his his his. The, his, his the invoice stated for promotion and career revival. Oh my god, some light skin shit that hurts. <laughs> like that hurt me, and I'm not even involved in the situation. 
Like, what? And some of the shit that he said, bro. Yeah, oh, that God. shit he said about Kanye was fucking crazy. How he's like, I gave you, like, lines and you just repeated it. Like, he he cooked. I you think... only, you he... rap about, he brother said you rap about what you know, uh, you, rap, you rap about what your cousin did, so you don't only rap about what you know about or some shit Oh, like my that. God, he just cooked like, him bad, bro. I was just like, oh, no, no, he no, He took push, everything like, that people love about Push and made it a joke. Yeah, like, you were not, like, I, I can't, like, seriously, guys, I'm sorry. Yeah. I have listened to Infrared yeah. since then. And honestly, because what Push it. he made it he made it so that like yeah, Push you can come and say some things that were trending or this and that, but it's like the way you're gonna beat this man next round, you have to rap. You're gonna have you to, have to fucking have, rap. Whatever you know what sucks. Uh, once again, another shot at Daytona. You took a year and a half to make a 21 minute, you know. Thing. Yeah, like I get that, but it yeah. was good. It was yeah. good, cool. I kind of would blame that on Kanye. He probably had to like pull Kanye out of like, he was, <laughs> like come on, Kanye, they please. They place for a year they probably, and squeeze, a half. they probably squeeze that shit out in like two months. <laughs> yeah, but still, it's and like it's crazy how quick he's like, gonna have to come out swinging, or he's yeah. gonna, or that's it. That Drake once again had sunned another rapper. Oh my God, yeah, quick! But he did this shit with haste. Like what was it? Like nine hours later after the album dropped, he was <laughs> like, "Oh word!" Yeah, like, and then, like I said, he started the song. I'm upset. Oh, I'm appalled. And it was fucking. It was. It was honestly yeah, fucking yes. annoying. People <laughs> were fucking being losers. Like people are trying to say, "What was that shit?" Where they're just like, "Um, oh, how is he not top five in his label?" Oh well, we're not counting the people that used to be in it. It's like shut the fuck up with your semantics. You know what I'm saying? Like he like, said the label. You period. Have, you have to. You have to appreciate. The bar for itself. Yeah. Like, people don't say that, especially now. And, bug like, we don't get rap beef like this anymore. Yeah. It's and, all wax. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, soon. It's not like this, oh, yeah, he did it. And then there's a response a week later. Drake dropped this 12 hours later and was like, hey, don't talk shit. If you're going to talk shit, talk shit to my face. Fact. I'm coming for your head and now. what's crazy is, like, even before, like, Daytona, when you talk to, like, just regular hip-hop chopping it up, you talk about good music... Not a lot of people are going to be quick to be like, Push is the best on good music because it's, it's a real thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not people are going to jump at that. People got, there's a lot of people that good music there's had. There's also that people, people who think with. Push is a new artist. So. <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 yeah, let yeah, people, yeah, like, yeah. I, re I remember putting a grinding beat in seventh grade on like the desk back in the day. You know, <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Yeah. That's people, people think Wasn't Push is it, a new thing. It was Vice or Buzz, was it BuzzFeed? Who is it? Somebody put out a, 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 an article about it. About what? About, about how, Daytona. Oh. And mm. they said, in like literally in the article, it says, it's like it starts with he after he signed to Good Music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's where it starts his timeline. Like. That's but what's crazy started. is like, yeah, everybody's like, oh, clips this and that, but like the clips album wasn't even all that fire. It had like nope. three bangers on it. No, but he's been around though. Yeah, no. Push has been Not around. Like he's new. But, he but it took Push a minute to be Kanye, nice. Until Kanye touched him. Yeah. And so Kanye was like, hey, let me reach out and grab this dude. Yeah. Because like it took it took like real beat like keep it a stack like it took Push a minute to be nice because. Before he polished his style and before he started doing that shit, he was offbeat type. You know what I'm saying? It was like a little bit laggy type rap. It was that slow flow. And it's like, if you're not on the right production, it's not going to sound good. And it took him a minute to really be like a juggernaut. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like he was a, he wasn't a fucking in the game, like it, in people's top tens or anything back when grinding came out, bro. Like, no, come on, no give me a fucking way. break. No. Everybody liked the beat. Nobody can re recite the lines from that. Yeah, that's a fact. Or that album. Like, how many fucking good songs were on that album? There was like three. Three, if that. So it's like, yeah, people are just fucking clowns. You know, that fanboy bullshit. It's like, get the fuck out of here. But you act like, oh, they act like Big Sean. The yeah, they act like Big Sean doesn't either. exist. They act nah, like Common didn't put out one of the best albums of all time Sean, with good music. Like, come Big on. Big Sean is, the, is a problem. Yeah. He's a problem. He's too, busy. he's too busy trying to secure radio hits. But he, but not, he, I don't even think he's trying to, because if you think about it, since Big, Big Sean's been out, he's been on the radio at least once a year. Yeah, or on a feature or something. Consistently like that. on something that is like one of the hottest things of the year, like. And it, it's just he's just he's just got like he's always been Shoot, that I dope. Remember, I remember him shitting on the lemonade beat. <laughs> yeah, it's a fact. He was one. He Gucci was one of those lemonade? artists to me that yeah. like when he came out, he was like. 
he was one of those people that kind of pushed Wayne off when Wayne was on top type of deal. Like he, like Detroit is probably one of the best mixtapes of all time. Oh my god, Back. that fucking mixtape is yeah. fire, bro. Ridiculous, like yeah. nobody yeah, like. And if you and, and I hate people like I don't like Big Sean. I yeah. don't like, have you not listened to Detroit. Yeah, like he's actually about like rhyming and he's about yeah. spitting yeah. bars. And right? honestly, like, like I love, I fuck, I've always fuck, you know, I fuck with Pusha T, but like. I was upset when fucking when Consequence left because of Pusha T because I was always like yo I like Consequence more and I still yeah. do like that Consequence album that was on good music was fucking fire bro like it didn't happen until Pusha T's last album where I was like all right this might be better than that you know what I'm saying like so it's like yo there's a lot of and then you got to you can't you got to remember fucking Sci High was on was on good music you know what I'm saying Sci High is the go yeah, you got Sci High, you got Cuddy, Hit Boy, fucking Hit Boy's album when he oh, first came out was fi- yo, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna call anybody out of their name, <laughs> but to the person who was like, "Hey, Cuddy's not on good music." I wanted to clown. Yeah, that, that was one of those semantics kids. It's like, bro, you act like he never what? Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. He was on like it literally like on the Wikipedia. If you want to be that technical, if you want to be that guy, yeah, it says. Kanye West slash Kid Cudi, whatever what's yep. what the ghost or whatever their their yeah. group is called. And if you want to together, and, yeah. And if it's like if people want to do semantics, you want to do number wise, like look up the best albums that came out of good music. Like, and they're all yeah. Ugh. Yeah, but I mean, it is what it is. But we, yo, if you guys want some pure entertainment, go on that post and watch how we were literally at people's necks for being clowns. But the thing is, is we were fair. We're yeah, yo, we were very fair. We and just, it was really like a couple people who just honestly, genuinely did not know what they were talking about and then took it personal when we told them, get the fuck out. Yeah. And don't then there's out, people who like, after we after we yelled at them, they'd go on Facebook like, yeah, Pusher T's was better, but how'd you guys feel? Just to like get their, you know, get their chest flurry because they just got yelled at by grown men. I like, need some likes. <laughs> And then, sorry, JP, your boy, uh, JP's boy. <laughs> I, uh, guys, I friend requested him. Still waiting for the acceptance. <laughs> we cooked him. There was probably four or five people that jumped on there choosing who via, like, popularity before even listening to the tracks that we smoked. Yeah, like, you... Oh, Pusha T because I'm a fan. Drake yeah. because I'm a fan. Yeah. Oh, I like Pusha T any, better. So if I think did in, not listen to both tracks, they got roasted. Th- dude, was there was like there with two a, people. There, with the smoke and just people. <laughs> there was like two people who literally their argument was Drake didn't win. He's just more popular. So Pusha T gets I didn't it. Listen to, I didn't listen to either. So I'm, I'm going to put my two cents in no matter what. Shut up and die. And then, Jim, sorry, uh, sorry again, JP. We know it's your man's, but he's like, I'm just trying to have conversation. I'm like, bro, we're not on a night at the town. Like, we're not at a dinner yeah, table, bro. Get the fuck out of here with your conversation. conversation. Like, well, we asked a question, and you're just spewing hot air. <laughs> You're not <laughs> contributing to the conversation. You're Bun just talking. City. It's like word salad. Oh. <laughs> That's a fact. That's what it was. Fuck, fuck those people. Johnny's taking stands. everybody's ass. Oh, we were going in. We were yeah. cooking people, bro. Then we had, the oh, and you guys want to see some real bully shit. There was pe- <laughs> We converted like six people. <laughs> people were just like, no, nah, man, I think Pusha T got it. And then we yell at them. Yeah, Drake got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking people were switching up quick. Go listen to him and come back. <laughs> people are soft. Yo, people are all soft. But um, let's get to my favorite day. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I I feel like I've been running these days, but um, I'm gonna. I gotta start dishing these out. But SoundCloud Saturdays. Nah, fam, you can do that with all the buns I do during the week. <laughs> <laughs> So SoundCloud Saturdays, man. If you're an artist and you only have your music out on like one platform, then this is your day. You get one day for your one platform. So <laughs> everybody gets one. Everyone. <laughs> Isn't that right? Hey, it Isn't keeps right, it fair. Man? Keeps it fair. And honestly, sometimes this is where a lot of the worst shit you'll ever hear comes from. It's Saturdays, if you want just there's something some, to ruin your slept weekend. On sometimes. Sometimes. Slept on fire. But uh, there's sometimes some, some trash, bro. But uh, so. We started this SoundCloud Saturday. It's actually, this project is a bit of a redemption. I was a little, I, I didn't like this dude. And he's, he's a fellow 3H, you know, 3H homie. This is Rocket G's project, <laughs> Leaf. And I, his album, I mean, I wasn't like harsh on it, but I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? It didn't sound too complete. Oh, wait, all I that skipped ahead. But this one, oh, yeah. <laughs> so this project, um, oh, we'll get to the good one. But uh, this project 
it was it was it was different. It was a different sound. It was a little bit smoother, but the the engineering and stuff was a lot better than the album. This one like just barely made the mark, but it was it was a good listen. It was sound like they were having fun, and it sounded like there was like a little bit of work. So I'm not gonna be like oh it was great, but it was it, it wasn't bad. So I'll give him this is a slight redemption. <laughs> oh, he got the check though. Yeah, he got the check. He got the check because it was it's very short and it like for a short project you can loop it a couple of times and it's like you know what i'm saying but i feel like if it had a couple more tracks it probably would have went downhill but i'll give it that man rocket g leaf i put all the links and shit like even though via picture i try to put in there but there's nothing you can do with instagram you know i'm not putting that in the bio so then <laughs> <laughs> the project after that was a project that i fucking loved i did not think i was gonna like it as much as i did because i went in with just hating because i don't know i feel like that's the cool thing to do and like you know, I just like to hate on shit. But um, this next project was hater. 90s Baby by King Combs, Puffy's Little Man, Puffy Day, Spawn. Day, Day's ghostwriting. See previous, <laughs> see previous comment. <laughs> slander, insert slander. Oh, you guys are just disrespectful. Diddy will come for you, man. I feel like take he doesn't that, care. Take that. Okay, man, come for <laughs> me. And then sign my page. And then we can be all the friends. And then cut oh, the man. check. Facts. I did this as a favor. I got paid off on this one now. But, um, yo, man, I really like this project. <laughs> Somebody's, like, playing with Matchbox cars. Nah, I'm getting a cookie, bro. <laughs> what kind of cookie you got, man? <laughs> mad loud. <laughs> Give us a snack warning Sorry. beforehand. Sorry about that. Sorry. What kind of cookie? What kind of cookie you got, man? Now you got to tell everybody. What you, what uh, you we got? Yeah, we got yeah. the fucking, we got the Chips Ahoy Reese's soft. Uh, okay. Mm. Soft oh. chewy cookie. It's 9 p.m. <laughs> you see so right now. <laughs> But um, good this project, <laughs> man, this project was fucking fire. The production was crazy, obviously '90s beat, but the production was crazy. It was- it, okay, honestly, if Lil Diddy put didn't put out a good project, why is okay it on production? SoundCloud though? Like, because I think a lot of it were a lot of there's a lot of samples on here, and Diddy already is always in trouble with samples. I was trying to duck the copyright. <laughs> 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 That's smart. You thought, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of samples. But yo, honestly, he sounds like he sounds like the best of both. Like he sounds like the best of Diddy and Mace combined. He's got that slow, swaggy thing, where he's you know like the I don't care, I'm the man type flow. But he's actually rapping. You know, him and his little squad of his little boy, like the boys that he rolls with or whatever. They all they were rapping, bro, and I fucking appreciate it. It was over some old school shit. Yeah, and, well, they probably got a bunch of ghostwriters, so it's okay. <laughs> so why, why is, or at least two. But see, why why do they get the stigma of ghostwriters? Industry plant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I don't understand because a lot of people said that, but I don't understand why. I don't get the I don't get the association. I feel to like the waves. I feel like if he's Diddy's because, kid, obviously he had no choice than to listen to hip hop growing up. Why can't the kid just want to rap? No, nope. nah, you think Diddy listens nope. to hip hop? I bet Diddy listens to like Yodel music. <laughs> Don't the JP's not here? We can we can bring bring that up without. Yeah, him. shout out to the Yodel kid. I could just see him doing Arthur Fist like right now, <laughs> just in his mind. Diddy's laughing at us listening to opera right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did he listen to Bluegrass? Uh-huh. Bluegrass, is Blue, Bluegrass is fire, but yeah, he just Fonsworth flies in with like a Yodel CD. Exactly. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't think he had a Ghost Rider. I don't think the rhymes were like complex and crazy. What is he, but like honestly, what is he rhyming about? I didn't get to listen. You to know why? You know another reason. You know another reason why it's on SoundCloud? Why? Because you can't see the writer credits. <laughs> oh, <laughs> disrespect. Him. I don't know, man. I think his little yeah, squad of rappers like, could rap, what too. Is he gonna rap? What is he rapping about? Like, Dude, he's oh, rapping about my, shit my, that you expect him to rap about. Yeah, <laughs> my dad is rich. Yeah, he's rapping about my dad is rich. Facts. But he's rapping about teenage shit, too. He's rapping out having a good time. He's like, yeah, I, I have a rich dad, so me and my boys are having a good time. I, I liked it, man. I don't know where this hate's coming from. Y'all act like y'all don't love Diddy, man. It's the Take D, that. the I, I the D, the D, the Y. Yeah, well, I, I feel I don't want to talk about Diddy. I feel like Diddy's fun to watch, but I would never want to meet him in person. You don't want to see how shiny his forehead is in person. He gets paid for that. <laughs> no, I don't want to watch For, forehead bomb? Salt fish or some shit. <laughs> the gefilte fish. Oh, yeah, he's got dolphin. What they said, Chappelle Show, he got dolphin teeth. Yep. He's got Demrick too. <laughs> I see need some Cambodian breast milk. Oh, dude, speaking of Demrick, yo, Mark, just go on his page right now. Look how pissed you're going to be at like his last picture. Oh, yes. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Demrick's page? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> he I looks like the I... dad from the Wild Thornberries. No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see it, and he's talking about his album. I, I think I commented on it. <laughs> that we're waiting? 
<laughs> with a blowtorch. He blocked me, to be honest with you. <laughs> Is it I am Demrick? Yeah. I think he blocked me. Nice. Your man's. <laughs> he blocked you? That's hilarious. Here, let me screenshot it for you. <laughs> yeah, definitely blocked. Oh, it's awful. I got you, dog. Oh, it's going to piss you off. <laughs> you oh, slandered him so much he blocked you. <laughs> did you did you slander him personally, like on your personal page? No, he he, no. he he like he like added him like twelve times on that be real fucking review. <laughs> he was just telling him he ruined it. <laughs> he him. found your personal page and was like, no. Yeah, he was like, chill. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, does this picture piss you off? <laughs> so I'm still trying to get over the fact that Denver blocked me. <laughs> It's your man. It's in the. It's, it's in the uh, it's oh in the- my god! <laughs> Looking like Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> but um, I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, we were talking about Baby Diddy. I'm still upset. You guys are just hating on him for no damn reason. I mean, I'm not gonna say the music was bad. This project's dope. Have you listened to it? I think you'll like it. But right, his name D E M M. Yeah, I'm blocked, dude. Jesus, <laughs> I love that. I'll, I'll comment on one of his posts one day and be like, "My boy Mark says hi." <laughs> oh, also, man. you're trash. <laughs> also, you dolphin. haven't done a single good feature. Oh, wait, ready, ready. Fuck you, Denmark. Yeah, you gotta say, gotta get closer to the mic. It's not close enough. Fuck you, There you go. Oh man! I'm, I didn't even know that. That's a that's a nice that's a nice revelation that I got blocked by Denmark already. Oh, that's great. Oh, uh, we get blocked by everybody this week. Oh yeah, it was a rough week, man. And then the you know what? And then the last project we did, that I did for the SoundCloud Saturday was someone who handled the, all the lovely slander we dish out like a fucking champion, Young Moriarty. The project's called Teardrop Bop, and this is four excruciatingly painful tracks. All sewn together on SoundCloud. And <laughs> he got a negative point five. Negative point five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's petty. funny is like the pettiest of petty. John I said he sounds like the placebo Lil Xan. <laughs> God damn! You and were I about hope, getting blocked. <laughs> and he loved it. He like liked it, shared it, commented on it. Said he's gonna prove us wrong. He's he is a man about it, and I appreciate that. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. He reposted it and everything. Yeah, on Twitter, on Instagram. It, it was he great. He like posted a, a story. He did it like a fucking champ. And I like that. Like, I like that. Like, because one, if if you saw somebody, like some local rapper that you, you know, is their friends list, you're not going to click on and like a picture of them smoking weed. But if they posted a fucking shitty review someone did for their project, you might want to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might be like, oh, let me see if it was no. that bad. I, dude, I would. If someone posted like, "Yo, I just got cooked by these reviewers," and then I saw it, and I'm like, "Man, this review's rough," I might. Is it really to it. that bad? Yeah. Want no, I don't. I don't think. No, I would listen I'm to it. I'm glad that we do what we do because. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to hear negative five point fives out here. I mean, honestly, I love that he shared it. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm gonna listen to it now because I've been friends with this kid on Facebook for a minute, but I didn't hear it. But because it got a negative point five, I gotta see if it lives up to the <laughs> It's rough, bro. It's very, it's very. <laughs> we rough. do it for the culture. <laughs> oh yeah, it's rough, and it like got progressively worse. It's like, it's like thumbs down, trash, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that? It's I mean, it's only like four tracks. Really yeah, it's rough, but it's it, whatever. He's he's working on his album. He's gonna send it our way. Hopefully, and he knows not to be like Little Zan. I hope he doesn't look like him. But um, and then <laughs> uh, our slept on Sunday is one of my favorite my favorite artists ever. It's just his career, fucking uh, ASAP Rock. So people know that there's a difference between ASAP Rock and ASAP Rocky. This man, people have no idea who he is, which sucks. Dude, he has like, doesn't he have like? the record for like using the most words like ever in his rap. Yes. He's it's I'm fucking crazy. Pretty sure. He, uh, what was it? Bazooka tooth. That fucking <sighs> album like change my perspective on like music. Fire. Yo, you know, I had so. someone try to fucking tell me that it, they don't like his voice. And I'm well, like, he well, sounds he, well, okay. He's a rough listen to people, man. You, I don't, I don't, I don't get. I feel like he sounds hip hop as fuck. He is hip, but like, I, I, I really like him because he has like that rock influence. 
true. He, he's like, he's you know all I mean? over, like, but like I feel like his rap has, is very like backpack, old school, boom bap. Like I don't. Re- it, but it's like underground. It's like like 1995, 1996 <laughs> shit, and people aren't about, <laughs> people aren't about that like. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know. That made, that like upsets me. Like that people like. Honestly, anyone that's never heard of him, like, if you want something to immediately be introduced, listen to Impossible Kid. That album was my favorite album of fucking, was it like 20, 2016, 2017? Whenever Drake, Drake dropped Views, I think it dropped on the same day, and it was like second place to it. But this, What, the Drake's album, really? Yeah, it, it was up there with Drake's album for a hot minute, like I think like the first or second week. And that's crazy. Impossible Kid was fucking incredible. And then I, I saw him live that year, and he, he fucking nailed it. And I'm like, yo, this... This project is crazy. There's a billion words on this project as is, but it's fucking, it's solid. And he produces, bro. He produces most of his he, shit. Everything, everything. Not most of his shit. He produces everything. <sighs> did you hear he did the Bushwick soundtrack, that Batista yes. movie? But that, that yes. soundtrack's fire. Like Ridiculous. That movie's actually pretty fire. Yeah, it was actually really good. I actually liked it. But um, yo, like his career is fucking crazy. But for anyone who doesn't know, they need to listen to him. And Impossible Kid will be the perfect first album to jump into him with. Please, you don't just have like mind. you just this is something that people like you need to understand where where it all started and he's definitely an innovator and people don't recognize him like that yeah and it's just it's fucking crazy and then people wanted to be like oh Dave East has slept on fuck out of here <laughs> yeah it's like well he, uh, Dave East wouldn't be slept on if he didn't put out me. fucking Davies weak projects in, but he's not sle- like he's not slept as far as I'm Everybody, concerned he's like, overhyped right now, he, I think he's overhyped Right now oh, yeah. he is absolutely hello, hello overrated. Yeah, I it's think because he's very overrated. Huh? He gets a lot of love from Snoop. Yeah, and Nas co signed him, which is yeah, everyone. So he gets dream. a lot of love, but like it's just he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. Like P two was the best thing he put out, but it like what's that, like your third fucking release? Like I'm not impressed. Hey, hey Mark, did you see the group chat? Yeah, I just liked it. <laughs> 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 I appreciate you guys. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Oh lord! I'm just glad he blocked me. Like that's like real life. Like I'm happy. That, I'm like never have I been so happy to be blocked by an individual. For the for the people <laughs> listening, I commented, I commented under Dimmerick's photo, and I said I my boy, it. I my boy, and I tagged Mark. Ha, said you have dolphin teeth and your music is trash. <laughs> your response you know? to Jonathan in the chat's fucking gold. What happened when you couldn't block people? You squared up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's true, man. Yeah, it's fact. People don't know how to that. fight anymore. IG. Yeah, but, yeah, please put that on there. People don't fight anymore. People are soft. They cry on Instagram and fucking Twitter and tell us to take their fucking reviews that they requested down. K profit, soft, oh, God, dusty. Wait, he he responded to me like I asked him a question. <laughs> <laughs> what do he say? What kind we of dolphin? Him, we we need him to call in <laughs> so, so we can touch him. Up? What kind of dolphin? Dude, that's What type soft. of dolphin is he? Uh, yeah, what kind of dolphin teeth does he have? <coughs> I hate Denmark. Oh, Ugh. facts. But um, that's all the projects for the week. We start, I mean, since it's like the fucking Memorial Day episode, we started putting, uh, you know, our Monday shit went up, obviously, but we're not going to talk about it. We're going to save that. But um, so... This episode, special co-host, if you hear you hear his voice in the background, you know, it's not JP, who usually sounds like he's underwater and stuff. We got my, my man Season here. And Season, tell us a little bit about this album, bro, that's dropping on, was it Wednesday? Wednesday, May yeah. 30. So, so uh, tell us about it. Give us a little snippets. We want some good stuff. Talk to us. All right. So first and foremost, I have to shout out Naive Mans and... Uh, John D. Contradiction from Naughty Man's is going to be a feature on the album. Yes, sir. <laughs> so excited oh, for you, affiliates. So there's going to be a lot of nepotism when I get my review. I'm excited <laughs> for that. Lyrical uh, murder. So this album actually took me the longest to uh, create out of any project or piece of work that I put together. And I definitely think that uh, it is my best piece of work to date. Um, it is 14 tracks. Pre-orders up right now. You can get it on iTunes, and you'll get four songs off of the album now that you can go cop right now. There's two songs, Mamma Mia and Broccoli, that are up on all streaming sites at this time as we speak. And Mamma Mia was the uh, first single, right? Mamma Mia was the first single, yes. Which is hard. Yeah. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Mamma Mia is actually my most successful song to date. I was not expecting to uh, to get the response that I got from it. 
And uh, it was actually the first song that I produced completely myself. And I was very happy with the response. Yeah, um, the, the track's smooth, man. It's a fucking smooth track. It's got like a, it's got like a nice reach to different, like the younger kids. Like, it's got like a nice reach, but you still show you can rap on it. So it's one of those versatile type things that like we need, we need in music nowadays. You know, maybe one of those deadheads will be like, oh, lyrics. You know, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Good time, yeah. So uh, the production on it, we got uh, we got Stigmata on salute six or set. He's on. I think he might have produced seven of the tracks mm-hmm. on this. Uh, oh, so album. half. Yeah, so he produced half of the album, uh, and then we got three tracks from producer Public, who's another local cat. Uh, got some dope production. Mm-hmm. Um, I got two songs on it, Mamma Mia, and then um, another song called Speedboat that you can get right now with the pre-order on iTunes. Um, and then we got one track. Uh, by my man Live Johnson that he snuck in there. Nice. Nice. Um, I fuck with Live. I fuck with Live, man. Live is dope, man. Salute to Elmon. Live Johnson's the man. Yeah, he, he's got some dope production. I got I got a few of his beats in the, in the stash. I've yeah. worked on a few of them, but uh, this is the only one that made the cut. But um, fun fact about this album, there's actually a part two that has already been created, which is kind of like the Cuts album. Because mm-hmm. there was a bunch of tracks that were on this album that didn't make it. That still really fit the feel of the album, um, but Mamma Mia actually changed the trajectory of this album because it performed so well that I had to kind of switch up the album a little bit. Okay. Um, so you did use it, yeah, but you did what people showed you. You adapted, you evolved to it. Yeah. 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 Basically, gotta be yeah. versatile. That, oh yeah. That's what I tried to do. You know, I tried to. I pulled some of the um, I pulled some of the deeper tracks off of it, and like it kind of worked with the whole metaphor of the album, which is called C. So uh, the deeper cuts, if you will, like the deeper going deeper into the C, got pulled for the next project, which I'm not gonna give away give away the uh, the title of it, but that'll also be coming Ooh, secret. this year. Nice. Uh, Oh, see, so you're dropping two projects this year. Oh, shit. I'm dropping three. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, I'll be reviewing all three of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, dr- I'm dropping three this year. Oh, we man. You. Oh, yeah, I nice. Three years off. Nice. Three we years seize off. you. I see you. Yeah, you got that? You I got did. That? I got bars, man. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was a long time for me to not drop any music. So, uh, it's a, really your last one was three years ago. Yep. Oh man, I, f- I fucked with that project heavy, bro. Yeah, you been that was the six three one. It's better, so. <laughs> oh, it. so actually, go through um. So this is your what project? Like, even though this is like your first huge, huge release, which one is this? You dropped a couple of tapes. Was this number five? This is number six. <sighs> Working man. This will be project number six. The first project I released was in uh, 2011. It's a mixtape that's available. I believe it's still available. It's on uh, datpip.com. A couple of songs got pulled off. Like, I did a flashing lights freestyle mm. to the Kanye beat. Uh, I know that got pulled off. Uh, but uh, I think most of the most of the mixtape is up on datpip. It's called Open Season. Nice. Uh, that was that was the introduction to my, to my music career. It was uh, dropped in September 2011. And then uh, I dropped a project every year since. Uh, Welcome to the Real World was the next one. Then I uh, then I did a, a group project with uh, with Status Six Three One, a fellow Three H member. This was before we were Three H. Uh, it was called the I'm a Problem EP. Uh, I dropped I that, that in the same year as uh, Top to Bottom, which was another complete project. T B tracks, I believe I put. Uh, that was in the same year. That was in 2013, uh, or 2014. I think it was 2014, and then 2015 was uh, was the 631 EP. Yeah, I rocked that. I rocked that 631 a lot. Stigmata. Yeah, I fucked with that project heavy. I fucked with the um the the you and uh, status one too. But the other ones I like, I remember like glam- like glimpsing over them, but uh, I don't remember like they didn't stick too much from like back then because it, it was like when I met you. So, but um, all right, out of those projects, now you know, now mentioning the new ones, which one was your favorite? Just your favorite, like to do every- everything that you like to listen to and that you did, like had fun making. Uh, I would have to say that uh, that the first one, Open Season, was definitely probably a very 
high point for me. Uh, you know, it was when I first started rapping. It has some of the first songs that I ever recorded. So, uh, so it definitely has like a very nostalgic feel to me. So that's definitely one of my favorites. And then uh, my most complete or best piece of work to date, I think, was the 631 project. Mm -hmm. But I think this Project C coming up is going to exceed all my work to date. Like, I definitely think this is my, my best piece of work. I think it has a little something that uh, everybody can uh, gravitate to and enjoy. Okay. Whether it be, you know, I don't, I don't think everybody's going to like every track, but I think there's something for everybody on this album. <laughs> if you had to choose a song that, that you would give a diamond, which one is it going to be? Um, Ooh. <laughs> um, on the new album? Yeah, on the new one. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I don't think, man. I don't think I'll get my you don't, you don't. You don't have a favorite track on that album? I'm, it's like, hard. when you... Like, it's, like, it's not... No, man. You know that there's that track that's on that on your new album that you, it plays and you're just like, yes. It's like you're trying to make me pick my favorite child right now. And you're going to have to pick a favorite <laughs> child. Everyone has a favorite child. I wasn't my uh, mom's. Man. I swear I don't think I won. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was dark. That was dark as shit. Walk. <laughs> from uh, from I'm I'm a I'm a mom's favorite child too. By the way, I just wanted to. Point that out there. But, uh, I'm the least. But uh, a lot of people, <coughs> my my close friends and, and family that I, I've showed some of the music to, a lot of them think that the intro track uh, was featuring Stigmata, also produced by Stigmata, doing a sync uh, thing. I like when Stig sings. Yes, sir. Yes. Killed, killed the hook and bridge. Killed it. Dope, dope. Um, a lot of people think that's that's the track right there. So, uh, would you like what John says? That's a lost art. Like the first track being the best track. Yeah, man. You know who used Open to fuck me up with first tracks back in the day? Yo, like. Jake Cole, when he was doing the, the all those the piano intros, there was like one, two, and three. Those were fucking strong intros, but bro, bro, back in the day, man, people don't do that anymore. No, yeah, no. So, you know, but I, I don't know. You know, like it, it's hard for me to say. I definitely have, you know, a soft spot for for Mamma Mia because I produced it. It was the first song that I produced That's that I rapped on. Yeah, it's it's a baby. Out. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Gotta feel triple really double no assist did the rap and the track. Yeah. That's like the first the first meal you cook for yourself with like no parental supervision, and it's like exactly. just like a mix of like Dino nuggets and maybe an omelet and a waffle <laughs> <laughs> and a hamburger on the side. It's one of those meals, you know. It's good. You put I it made together. mac and cheese and toast. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I you have a cut it. hot dogs into some mac and cheese with a can of corn, that was a good day. I, I would say. I would say that song is more like me fucking opening up the grill for the first time and putting a nice <laughs> steak on it. And, oh, shit. You know, Fancy. Burning, Sizzle. burning it a little bit, but it's still being okay, I see you. nice and pink in the middle. Oh, I see you. All right. I, I mean, on the outside. I didn't hear the whole project yet, but I'm just going to say the song with me on there is definitely a diamond. But um, <clears throat> anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, keep stroking, keep stroking I'm, yourself. I do an individual rating just for you. <laughs> <laughs> just give me like when you rate people's truck. verses, <laughs> just rate my verse. Well, yo, honestly, that's why I feel like there's something for everybody on this album. I feel like uh, each review is going to get a different uh, different perspective on what their favorite song is. Fact. You know, like, but only one so review is going to matter. I'm glad I get to enjoy it. <laughs> I get the so final word. So many different vibes, you know, I, like mm. I, I purposely like because most of my projects before that, like other than the first mixtape, it was predominantly one producer and me working together. And like, that's why I made a conscious effort to try and uh, w work with a couple, like a handful of producers mm. to really try and find multiple different sounds and see if I could take those sounds and bring it into one cohesive project and, you didn't know uh, you don't work with bella or charlie yet right uh i've never Man. worked with charlie but uh bella, bella. Out, no. oh, yeah. bella bella out there making warner brothers money yeah. <laughs> i think yeah. Secur securing the real bag like bella he puts out some very different what's so very funny is like stuff. i remember bella like i think i went to him when he lived at his mom's house still and we were yep. just sitting there with like his old piano that he that had an old MIDI hookup, and he was like, "I yep. status actually." And then just to see him yep. progress from where he's at, not where he was then to now, Ice Age is ridiculous. <laughs> Ice I, yeah, Age. exactly. Yep. Ice Age. It's crazy. 
Ice Age. No, that's dope. No, dude, that you definitely yeah, need to crazy. work with. I think if you work with Charlie, like he's gonna like he'll make you sound like you um like you already sound dope, but I think he'll make you sound like fucking. Who Charlie? Yo, Charlie's a beast. I, I don't. People don't even know who Charlie is, which sucks. Just the disrespect. I know. People. Yeah. Straight disrespect. I've recorded with him a couple. Of times. I got to. I, he's, I got to sit he's there. A, he's a fucking scientist him. when he's doing recordings. Like, I got he to fixes there, your shit there. there meet him smoke a blunt with him and just like listen to like his, just his ideas and stuff like that and yeah. he's just such a humble dude man yeah he's dope he's fucking yeah. super dope yeah but he's a, he's a wizard all right so um so what you got uh after that you got any visuals coming out for this bad boy uh yeah visuals are definitely coming this summer uh, i'm trying to really give this project uh it's do justice for uh on the on the on the promotion side, you know, like I feel mm-hmm. like that was something that I really lacked with uh, on previous projects. I feel like I put a lot and inve- in, invested a lot into my previous uh, projects, but I really didn't spend the time promoting it. So this project, I have a, a six month promotion business model set out for it. Oh, um, I like that. You know, starting I like my that. own label. Oh, you know, I like these business talk things. So, uh, so we, we got, we got everything in line. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, trying to, not trying to make a big bang off the, off the first week, first month, but I'm really trying to stretch it out. So I'm trying to, trying to get like three visuals at least off this mm-hmm. project okay. over the summer. And um, what about, um, what about like shows and stuff? What you got lined up or what do you, pl- what's the plan? What's the future plans as far as performing on top of this promotion? I don't, I don't really have much plans for, uh, for performance yet. I'm going to Canada with status. Uh, I will be, I will be there with 30th. you, sir. I will be there six, with six, you, six, sir. Six, six, six. We will be sharing a stage, sir. Yes, sir. I'm excited for that. Oh, yeah. um, so that's, that's the first thing planned. You know, we're, we're going to be going out there supporting the homie. He's going to, he's going to show us love and let us do some of our things. You know, I'm going to perform some of the songs off the album, uh, do some features with, status and then uh and then the homie alpha actually reached out and asked if i wanted to go on a nine show tour uh in august so um i as of now i'm going got to see what how things work with work how okay how the album is doing um on the business side of things Mm. and if if we can make if we could swing it we can make it work uh, then I'll be on tour for nine shows with him, um, and I'm really just trying to take it. I'm trying to. I'm trying to take it to the internet. I'm trying to get the internet to really, uh, really love you and yeah. hear this music. Yeah, and and appreciate it. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get a little bit of uh, of notoriety. I'm trying to get people to know who I am a little bit before I start showing my face. You know, I wanna. Okay. I wanna start doing more interviews. You know, this is this is uh the second of the day that I did. The first one was kinda trash, but uh oh, damn. but it was <laughs> um promo. Yeah, so I'm I'm just trying I'm trying to get my feet wet, you know it's uh it's another thing that uh us artists have to work on. You know, we're not just gonna be good at it. We're not yeah. just gonna step into it and be fucking professional yeah. interview ease. Yeah, I mean, it, and it's true. It's it's a different world. Like, I just like I'm I like shit like this because I just like the sound of my own voice, and I'm just I'm full of myself. So I'm like, you know, I'm kind of an asshole, and I that's what assholes do is what we do. We just like to hear ourselves talk. So I'm like, oh man, you know, I can just talk all day for nothing. But it's I get it. It's something that you have to train. Like I've been an asshole my whole life. Like I didn't just pop out and as i trained <laughs> i I trained you know to get here you know what i'm saying now nah, but it's it's definitely it's a, it's a hard thing to do and i feel like a lot of people don't do it and a lot of these new age dudes who just get big and you barely know who they are they also have zero personality they're just going off the strength of that they're big but all they know how to do is hold like fucking money at their ear and say no nah, i'm saying no nah, i'm saying nah, i'm saying and it's like it's trash but it's like it's like as if they're not people you know what i'm saying yeah. At the end of the day, you're still a person, and like that personality shit. Like, how many? There's only so many fucking people holding money to their ear that say, you know, now I'm saying over and over again that you can like over someone who's actually a person, and it's just like, yo, fuck it, I'm a person. That's it. Like straight up. Like when we spoke to Vic, when Vic called up, he was just straight up. Like he's talking. Like it felt like he was in the room with us. Like we were just fucking hanging out. Like had a few beers, type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's. I'd rather that any day over some fucking delusional fucking 
someone that we're going to get on the show eventually, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yo, man, that's dope, man. So this is fucking Wednesday. See, by the season, drop it, man. If you get that pre-order, you get some four dope tracks. And when that actually drops, there's going to be one diamond on there with me on there. But, um, yo, mm -hmm. check Keep it out. Keep your own dick, bro. <laughs> we'll see. Yo, I... So, so, <laughs> I'm gonna pay you off. <laughs> I'm gonna alter. I'm gonna Photoshop a different track. Auto rating. flash. <laughs> Cut the no, check, man. dog. <laughs> no, but we're definitely ready for the project, man. And the fact that you said you you might have two more on the way for the year, man, that's fucking dope, man. Salute to you. Keep fucking working. Get that game plan going. We're all about it. We're on board for it. And fucking uh, all right, man. We're gonna let you. You want to close this out before I do our little outro? Blah blah blah. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you guys having me on, and. uh all you artists out there, beware, because uh, <laughs> we might not be your man. Facts. Oh, plug in your, Gail, give them handles out, bro. All right, so uh, you can follow me on all social media, at season, L-I-1-3, that's T-H-E-S-E-A-S-O-N-L-I-1-3. Nice, man. That's on everything, man. Find this man on everything, and also check out his music, especially the track with me on it. Stroke it, <laughs> Oh, stroking. Yo, yo, it is a vibe, though. It is a vibe. <laughs> it's a good time. No, I actually was really like, so just to let people know, I, when he hit me up, like, yo, you're trying to get on something, I was fucking, I was more than ready because I hit season up on my tape to bless me with a verse, and he fucking, he cooked me alive on my own track. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I well, <laughs> no, nah, but he did, yo, like, he blessed me. Like, I was like, he yo, said, this I is fucking dope. Cooked. He blessed on, me, man. man. And it was dope because, like, it was Microwave. my homeboy. <laughs> my own boy um, Red, Red Eyes got on it too and he's like some reggae dude who's always been fire and Season he's kind of like got this crazy swag on his tracks like he's got like a nice vibe too in like a reggae sense so I was like yo this track's gonna be dope and it's a dope track like I thought the track came together way better than I thought and it's like you get a verse from somebody like yeah you know him but sometimes people slack especially because they know you you know what I'm saying so the fact that he mm -hmm. gave me a dope verse I was more than fucking ready I'm like alright I'm gonna try to give him you know I'm gonna try to repay that but um, we're ready for the project. That's why I'm so excited. That's why I'm so excited for this project because I do have a lot of features on this project. That's something you guys should expect. But every single feature, you know, like it exceeded my expectations. You know what I mean? Came correct. They they knew what time it was, and they did not hurt this project in any way. If anything, they elevated this project to the next level. Hey, that's respect. Don't man. get cooked. <laughs> that's respect, <laughs> man. All right, man. So. Pretty much, man. Yeah, don't expect it, man. C's dropping on Wednesday. And um, all right. Dope, so, dope. all right, man. So that's episode eight. Not your mans. Don't forget, get on this podcast, rate it, subscribe, comment, all that good Five shit. Five stars, no matter what. Five stars. Even if you <laughs> fucking you hate, hate, hate us. Even don't if, even listen. Just rate it five stars and leave. <laughs> even if you're jungle pussy. Five stars. Just blocked us. And then, all, <laughs> yeah, if you can hear this, you can't because you blocked us. But yo, there's on there. We're on SoundCloud. We're on YouTube. Tune in, Stitcher. We're on Google Play with their podcast. Only gang, thing we're gang. not on is Spotify still because they're giving me a hard time. But yo, other than that, we man, you, too much. <laughs> they're just dicks, man. It's like the hardest process. But uh, you could catch all our pages, man. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Not Your Mans, N O T Y A M A N Z. And lastly, don't forget the Spotify quarterly playlist. We do a playlist of all the songs that are rated fire and up on the album reviews released onto this playlist, and they're quarterly. So this quarter two one's about to be done, and it's almost at like fucking 500 songs, and it's dope, though. It's all just bangers. And some people just five hundred songs. I want you. I want the people to put that into perspective. <laughs> hey, but it's five hundred. Some, some of the songs. That's just yeah, some. Those and that's even, some. Think about how many even counting the bad albums. Oh yeah, they don't get nothing. But I am I actually might do a nice little vote on the Instagram to do like the garbage playlist for people who just want to have a good mm -hmm. time. And we're gonna start getting the votes in. Uh, this is gonna be the middle of the year votes for the trash water trash boy water <laughs> trash water boy mm -hmm. awards and all that good stuff. K profits like my like runner up. We gotta do like a Brady Bunch style post, <laughs> <laughs> and then the as people family. vote them in, they get their own frame. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> dude! I'll do that. I'll I'll have all the different ones there, and we'll see what people like, what looks the best. And yo, man, tell your friends, spread it around. We're still taking reviews, even though our list is crazy. But read the fucking the list email. Is <laughs> read the email. It has specific instructions, and like it says in the email, if you do not follow the email, if you ignore the instructions, you will get ignored straight up. And it is what it is, man. I'm John D. Contradiction. We're not holding hands. M. 
fucking Walco and our special guest host season signing out. Create. Ain't nowhere to run. Ain't nowhere to run to. There ain't nothing here for free. Okay, yeah, I know that I'm young, but time is Ain't moving no fast. No, it isn't gonna last. See the bigger photograph, this life can pass you in the flesh. I'm cheesing like I'm Robert Grab. Just sign my first autograph. But I'm not really feeling too gas when signature isn't something to best. In but signing that CD for my uncle who opened up for BB King.